Also, oh. Sam, I've had like eight people message me and be like, I sent something <laughs> to Sam to send to you. So those better make their way to Indiana one day. They're not. Please. They're not. No, <laughs> they're not going to make, make it to it. San Diego. No. Um, the, uh, <laughs> no, they're, they're like, they're over there. It's just a pile of books and they're like cryptid books, but they're not like, they're like cryptid. They, you know, remember zoo, also, zoo books? I'm getting a mini. So that's the most important zoo books. Yeah. Yeah. The zoo books, like they're like that, but for cryptids. Oh, that sounds awesome. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll go fish them out of the trash. <laughs> Wait, <what? laughs> I'll go fucking dig them out of the Goodwill. You know, I, I, like, them at. You know I like cryptology. <laughs> Yeah, but I, I thought you would like a thinking man's cryptology book, like, you know, like words well, and shit. what about when I have kids? I want them to start somewhere. <laughs> start early. Yeah. Cryptids. Yeah. All right. Uh, we're like the worst fucking podcast people. The, uh, <laughs> this is uh, episode... I don't know what episode this is. This we, we have a special guest. His name's Blarg. Hello, I'm the special guest. My name's Blarg or Matt. Um, yeah. I, am, I am a member of the Goons podcast along with my own channel where I just do... Uh, gaming dog shit that's about it nothing special whatsoever nothing we, interesting unique or new to the platform you're a car you're a, guy right yeah, yeah we know you car, from yeah. good enough auto oh, that's what oh, we yeah. Yeah. we're all oh, big yeah. car guys this episode brought to you by good enough auto Come on. Cool. yeah i wanted to do uh i wanted to make like a full-on car show and then i realized like the logistics of that and and the financial burden that was was just not worth it at the time. So I was like, I'll just I'll just try it out, see if it's uh see if it's a, a thing I enjoy doing. And then I don't know, maybe when I'm done gaming, I'll I'll move on to that. But it's a good time. Yeah, big car guy, I like all sorts of cars. I'm not not specific, not a, I don't like to gatekeep them either. Like you have to like a certain you know type. I'm I'm about it. I'm about the life. And what's yeah. your what's your favorite Oldsmobile? <laughs> Favorite Oldsmobile? Yeah. I don't, I don't even, uh, there could be a what? gun to my head. I don't think oh. I can name an Oldsmobile. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what's, what's I mean, you know, part of the car? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> why do you like all cars? There's what's, so many good like ones. Uh, yes, I, I reckon the motor is usually the, the place to oh. start. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. I don't know. I've never really oh. just like saw the sidewall of a tire and been like, yeah, that's that's the one I'm going to buy. I'm going to want that my one one day. favorite is the Dash. The dash? Know, there's so much room to customize. A bad dash will ruin a car. Yeah, no, that's yeah. that's fair. I, I'll, I'll give you if that. If you have one that's like a constant slope and like you put takeout on it, whoosh, slides right off. <laughs> no, I'm driving, I'm burning that car for insurance oh, money. There should be yeah. dashes to like TV trays. Like, and they've got like cup holders in them. Sure <laughs> How often you just drive them with like six Big Macs on your dashboard where this is like a problem. <laughs> Dude, it is a very <laughs> So yeah, like I, you, when you when you test drive a car and you just roll up with like six <laughs> bags of Wendy's and just fucking line it up on the dashboard. Well, I saw the cars that you it's have, yeah, and like the and like the you know your style of car and everything and the way you approach vehicles is very different than mine. Mine is yeah. just like a food transportation device. <laughs> like the Big Macs on the dash are worth more than the car. Like it's there to bring the Big Mac to and fro. <laughs> You I mean, DoorDash, it's a side yeah, hustle or something. You can fit a yeah, lot he, of orders. You found your calling in that car. Yeah, yeah. He, he knows how to handle food and care for it. Yeah, fuck. Oh man, when when I see someone get out of DoorDash and they don't go to like the back trunk to get my food. I get fucking weird. I don't like when they <laughs> just sit with it it's just next, next to, to them. Like it's just yeah. riding shotgun, like it's their girlfriend. Because you know they're just like they could just be grabbing your fries yeah, or whatever. Talking shit. Right. I mean, in uh, yeah. I don't know if this they is just a, a Canadian thing because I'm, I'm Canadian, but yeah, they started like having like safety seals on all the bags and like yeah, the no, sodas. So you know, here. they're not just like taking a little little swig on their way there or grabbing a couple fries with their. How do I know they're not things. buying their own safety seals? Yeah, that, in their place? You know what? Yeah. I hate it when they get out of the car the, and they the go, exact logo. and they burp and go, I'm full. And I'm like, what the hell <laughs> just happened in there? And a fucking one on fly flies out of your bag. <laughs> this I got a. I got a. I made the mistake i oh. interacted with the reddit today and it, oh, it boiled down to the guy saying please stop burping on the podcast it's so gross he's like could you <laughs> mute or something and i'm no. like five minutes in, I've already dude you got like, some frothy Jesus ones like, they're really <laughs> yeah. they're yeah. boiling up from the I'm, I'm, I'm drinking <laughs> like tall boys of beer like why do you think i'm burping because yeah. i'm drinking milk like no i'm fucking 
No, they're great. <laughs> I got carbonated because drinks. I burp a lot, and then you do your fucking like. Well, you'll I like just be mid like, sentence, and you do like a Rick and Morty one. I, you let oh. out a long one. I like, I like to just like open my mouth and let it just like fall. Just out. L- whatever yeah. happens yeah. is happening. Yeah, no, that's a good. That's a good vibe. Our, our one of our co-hosts, McNasty. That guy, like, I swear to you, there's just he's just a, a gaseous planet. Is all he is. There's just constant. Well, I don't fart. But, no, it's everything, bro. It's just nonstop. And there's like people, people have like messaged us. Like, yeah, I, I fall asleep to the, the podcast. <laughs> oh, dude, they're, you'll stand up. You'll make it happen. Yeah, Everybody's got to hear it. It's, it's Wait, like he's got an announcement. Guy, is this the guy that's got the face covers and shit? Yeah, the guy that oh, looks like just, a, a oh, yeah, yeah. You, take, you peel yeah. that shit back and he wouldn't be doing that. Yeah, the yeah. one that looks like let the me fucking see your Boston actual bomber. fucking yeah. face. Let me see your face, and I want to see you rip those farts and burp and shit live on air. No. See it, Brian here, the guy yeah, in the red shirt. It. He used yeah. to not have a camera, okay. and he was the loudest shit talking this motherfucker. He would tear oh. people down verbally. He gets a camera. All of a sudden, he's a little, he's a little teddy bear. Nicest guy in the world. Yeah. Yeah. I, have yeah. day, yeah. I have a day job. I have yeah. a day job. I can't be on, yeah. on well, my face. Like, all right. I, my I face always... is up. Can't say the N-word now. There's no, like, they can <laughs> read my <laughs> lips. Dick is up. It comes out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's no deniability. Uh, I was hoping he just learned that people had feelings and no, he grew no, 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 no. This is no, no, no. 100% no selfish. Here, huh? He doesn't <laughs> want to lose his job. <laughs> it's it's yeah, selfish like, motives. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I can job. fix him. <laughs> I'll fix you, Brian. Uh, oh, man. So we you were ever supposed been to do in a this. Car? Wait, <laughs> <on me. laughs> you ever like drive a car like drunk or something? Like, <laughs> uh, no, uh, no, no, definitely, definitely not that. Then you How'd don't you love get cars. That, uh, <laughs> that, uh, you had like a Bugatti for that one video. A Bugatti? No, yeah, no Bugatti. I feel I'm like. So I'm sorry, uh, it was a McLaren. There's uh, like yeah. a level of car like above. Yeah, no, it, yeah. Civic that I just don't understand. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like, just, oh, it's, that's like, like a, a bicycle, Tesla. That's probably five hundred thousand. Everything <laughs> else is, yeah, no. Yeah. So that's the McLaren's not mine. Uh, that that is a, a friend of mine who's also a YouTuber. Um, he's pretty off. quiet about his uh, about his car collection. Well? So I'm not gonna, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, which is good. Uh, he doesn't like. He doesn't care about like you know cars enough to like share them or anything. So if he did post about them, he would just like just be flexing, and that's kind of fucking lame. So. So you know um, he has a lot of money if he has he doesn't yeah. even like cars. Oh, yeah. He yeah, he's got a yeah, yeah, no, he's got he's got <laughs> always lead like somebody's like, eh, take it or leave it. Like I drive it a couple times a year. Like, yeah, you're an asshole. Have but, you uh, noticed there's like no in-between? Like YouTubers have either either decided like it's not okay to have money at all. You yeah. have to act like you're just poor forever and always. Yeah. Or I mean, there's the people that just go into like flex mode where they're just every oh, picture nice, on Instagram man. and it's, Twitter is just them with like new watches and shit. And there's like, yeah, so I, I, I don't, like, I don't know. in between. You want like a Bill Gates or something? Like, I, mean, I, 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 I just want to see nice. like, I just want to see like, uh, you know, like Summit 1G just be like, hey, look at this. I just bought a house, guys. And it's just like a regular like $200,000 yeah, sure. house. Yeah. <laughs> and not, like, it's castle, a townhouse. Yeah, door. like it's connected. <laughs> it's, it's, he's got a firewall between him and his neighbors. I mean, there's like, I feel, yeah, I feel like it's one or the other though. Like my, one of our other co-hosts do, uh, he literally 5 million subs guys got as much money as Jeff Bezos, his mattress that he still sleeps on to this day when he was like 12 or 13, he had the flu and he sneezed and shit himself in the bed. All he did, he didn't even clean it. He just fucking flipped the mattress over, called it a day, still sleeps in that mattress today. It, Hell yeah! Those <laughs> kinds of people don't deserve money. Like, this, yeah. is man, this, is, this is a man who takes raid. Who ads, would have like, a fucking oh, yeah. like 1500s oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. princess room with like tapestries yeah. on the ceiling and shit? Yeah. You would have fucking like tassels yeah. on everything. You will know when I least. make more money. You will, it will be visibly <laughs> very clear right away he, by the bottom would, grill in the fucking yeah. princess room. Yeah. An actual backdrop with a yeah. screen screen. He can only afford yeah. to key it out now. Yeah, he can't afford to put the picture behind him right now. <laughs> Some shit behind me uh, right now. No, my green screen too. I'm, I'm sitting here because it's not even oh, long enough to cover yeah. the, the TV fucking away from green screen for ten <laughs> hours. So now it's on aquarium. So I'm trying to oh, shit. No, I, I, I think there's a good mix between like you know. I feel like it's it's cool if you like post shit that happens to be expensive that you're just like a big fan of. Like in my case, uh, you know, cars. I was into cars when I had like a little shitty beat up Hyundai Veloster. Like I was a big fan of that, and I'm you know big fan of other things that I can afford. But that's cool. But yeah, I don't know the whole like the whole lifestyle of just like 
here's six new Rolexes I bought that are all depreciating assets. And here's a 19 bedroom home for me and my dog. Like it's just, I don't know that, that part of YouTube has always been whack in my eyes, but I think the inverse pisses me off maybe more though. The like, Oh, you just like the critical where it's like, where it's like, I've, I went to the fucking moist compound. I'm like, where's the stuff? Like what? This is a great party. Okay. If you have another one, hit me up. Okay. Yeah. Don't put me on the ban list or something. But it's like, one beer pong table, one speaker. <laughs> you want to go, dude? That really this is, pissed this you off. It's like a Every multi-million side. dollar yeah. compound. No, I brought this up like twenty times because I walked in and I went, oh, and Omid and Devin walked in. They're like, "Oh my god!" And I was immediately like, "Where's the wall art? Where's the fucking?" Uh, the like, acoustics are off. This yeah. is an empty box. Where, where, yeah. Where's the? And they were like, "We just moved in." I'm like, "I just moved in." What are you? Doing? <laughs> where the? You know, there were some cool. Pull like, up cardboard that fucking cutouts. green screen, dude. You need to see. You did just move in. Look how packed that room well, is it is you, know, you can see my <laughs> mallet only right <laughs> now that's what's, a wait what is that what is that was is that a that's bed a, no that's no, an no, ottoman got... with a thing oh on okay it. All that's right. my couch over there oh well, okay no that's not yeah. that's no, not he, that he's, he's no, got he's got sconces and shit he's got yeah, fucking pictures that everywhere so much worse no 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 i didn't mean it was bad i'm saying like he's only been there the same amount of time critical's been there and you would think and he's already got it no. You would think it would Place. be fully decorated. No. Yeah, okay. Yeah. No, that makes I'm sense. I'm going to give critical credit, though. I looked at his stream recently, and he's got, like, uh, two pictures on the wall. So Yeah, no, he's moving up. He's got okay. a bunch on the floor, but, you know, some maybe of them have I, made, some of them have crept their way up to the wall, which is a good maybe, sign. That's maybe I'm just more materialistic, too, in some regards, but it's like, come on. You said have a little bit. The only way you feel it's anyway, like it's, no, I, yeah, well, retail <laughs> therapy does keep me going, yeah. but it's like, uh, it's like it's kind of a problem with a lot of online people. Like you go into their bedroom and you're like, what the? Blog, you got a nice whiteboard. Okay. Yeah, got I, got a a, I got a whiteboard. Uh, my to do list today is eat a local dog and then hide the bodies. <laughs> I got a green oh. minion. Oh. Uh, I got a monkey behind me. Uh, a minion that has a 500 mile Vietnam stereo. Yeah, I got some bullshit. I don't know. This I like is just, minions. Uh, I just, dude, I, so I actually fucking hate minions. Um, I love them. <laughs> I think like they're the best I thing ever. I just, the <laughs> stupid little yellow butt plugs, but they're just like, they're yeah, a, a meme for me minions. at this point. Like, I got look. I got a fucking minion here. I got like, oh, I, oh, hold on. How many do I have behind me? I got. Ooh. Oh shit! My cock is showing. Let me go to this side so YouTube doesn't get mad. Uh, I got got a, a lunchbox. Uh, audio uh, listeners just fucking one. hurried over to their phone. Long story short, there's like 50 fucking minions <laughs> behind me, and I hate them. But they came from a, a bit. Uh, my girlfriend bought me a minions cup at the dollar store because apparently I'm a fucking child. And uh, so I was I was a little upset by this. So I, I went and I bought something for myself from St. Laurent, which is like her favorite store. She really wants a bag from there. And I went and bought something. And then I took the bag, bought a big ass minion, and I put it in the bag, left it on her bed and sent her a picture. And I was like, I got you something from St. Laurent. And she got all excited thinking like, oh, maybe it's a new handbag. Maybe it's something interesting. And it was just a big ass minion. And ever since then, it's just, the minion to has sleep with the minion. People <laughs> just then. people just give me minion shit now. Like if there's like uh, in Boston when uh, we did like a fan meetup, just handing me minion stuff. Just how did that how did that go? Off. Like your fan meetup was it? Were they? It, it's, what it's, were the people like? The average person that would show up to a fan uh, meetup for a YouTuber were they more they, like. So I'd I'd like, say it's like it's a straight yeah, like, <laughs> right down the this, fucking middle. Look at this square of people here like, at this podcast. Like, they, they, they more resemble more? which one of us? No, it was like a 50-50 of people that you're like, these are normal, normal functioning humans, part of society that work and and contribute and they pay their taxes. And the other half are like, yeah, no, this guy has sent bomb threats to his school. Oh, like it's Jesus like it's Christ. literally straight down the not middle. A great like, percentage though. <laughs> no, it's not. Right. But that's just yeah. gamers, right? Like you have like a bunch of like antisocial, you know, uh, basement dwelling people like I was, and you know, still am at times when I get <laughs> when you know you find a game you fuck with, and uh, it's it's cool. But yeah, it's just like it's it's a little off putting with the fifty fifty. But like, there's a lot of nice people. Uh, they like make you 
you know, nice. fan art and stuff like that. There's, they make there's you, one, okay. I thought they, 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 make, they, make, they make you draw fan art of yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to make you do things like uh, I was waiting for what that was. <laughs> no, oh. there is there is one guy. I felt I felt really bad because it's going to be in all of his pictures. But like this guy drove like three hours to meet all of us, and really nice guy. Not like not not on the weird trench coat to grade school type beat normal looking dude nice dude had the largest fucking booger i've ever seen uh, it literally uh, like a missile coming out of a cave it was tell fucking, him dude i yeah, didn't have the heart bro fuck? i didn't have the heart because i didn't notice all so like the pictures we're, we're yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> yes. there's like there's like five of us and he's taking all his pictures and dude it's like it was like green like it's been there for a bit and it had time to dry and like like other boogers congregated to it like it was just this <laughs> this lump this yeah. mass you didn't have the enough. heart i didn't you, you know my you, no, if you had heart you would have told me yeah. okay. yeah. any was, of my fans out a, there i would have picked it for you i would have fucking hey, come here buddy you got a little bit of something right there i would have gotten that right out it of there it was like but it, okay that's the thing it's like it wasn't like i didn't want it wasn't like a little one where i was like yeah you know hey man you got like a little something no it, like if he went like this <sighs> If he went like this, it's going to his elbow before oh, it's like done. Like, it was, just, it was like, awesome. it, it, dude, oh. it was like a missile coming out of a silo. It was not good. It All was. Our uh, fans always have. I've noticed a little bit of poop on their diaper or in their underwear <laughs> when, they, when they walk away. <laughs> you, can you, can smell it How old are your fans? you can smell it first. You can smell it first, but I always have to give a little cleanup. You can always yeah. smell the messy diaper when they. Yeah. When yeah have you, so have you guys had many like run-ins with with fans? Like, how have those gone for you guys? Mine have been pleasant. <laughs> Tell them about a certain oh, cashier. Yeah. That was. Whoa, <laughs> that was so... just, as he describes, has no tact. So, like, <laughs> I don't know. We ran into a guy at fucking five minutes no, into his home. Not meet. that. Oh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, uh, not, not while we were in Idaho. Yeah, we oh, ran into someone that knew us in Idaho. No, you were saying you, like, I, there was I, a cashier somewhere that recognized him. And then he was just like, hey, dude, hit this. Oh, oh, oh he was like, at sorry, the I wasn't store. Like, cashier, he was still yeah. clocked yeah. in. Uh, and yeah, was like, so I hit it, like, right there in the middle of the fucking store. Dude, I got. I was like known in my friend group for being like unpeer pressure pressurable like throughout high school. This guy for after for five second. seconds after medium is like send it. Guy's got Go a ahead. silver tongue. He's like, don't, he's like, don't be a pussy. Send it. And I'm just. Like, oh, <laughs> so, I, don't want, I don't want this guy. Think I suck, bro. Well, like, it was. It was one of. The, it was like a weird interaction from the get go because he was at Dick's and like, I was when I was a couple people back. Like he kept kind of looking at me, but I was. Oh, this is the, the first time I've ever been recognize so you know i'm not going to be presumptuous and be like this guy knows who i am yeah and i get up there and he i don't even think realized what he knew me from yet and he's like oh do you have a phone number i can try and i start giving him my fucking like mom's home phone number <laughs> and like uh, halfway through it he's like oh my god are you like on forehead fables and i was like oh fuck and he's like anyway what was that number i'm like yeah, oh. no 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 <laughs> that was 911 i think yeah, that's yeah, my yeah, number yeah, go ahead and call I, that if yeah. you need it I have no idea. I don't remember the number. And like, <laughs> he was really nice when we talked for like a second. Then yeah, he's like, "Here, hit this dab pin. Like, you're a stoner, right?" And I was like, "Fuck, <laughs> not like." And it's also like kind of like peak Corona. Like I'm just like pure like. Oh. <laughs> this was, that was peak. That was yeah. like a year ago. Like yeah, imagine yeah. a year ago, <laughs> guy randomly just, just goes like, <laughs> "Suck on this," yeah. right and, out of his pocket. And I immediately, oh. yeah, like I, I did it in. Like just blew like a fucking cloud in a goddamn big sporting goods. There's like families around. So it's like, and this guy was on the clock, right? Like, yeah, no, he was yeah, that is fucking so working. fucking bad. That is incredible. And dude, it's illegal uh, in I, Indiana, right? Yes. Yeah. It's okay. Oh, illegal. Yeah. And I, dude, I, I had to drive home and I was awesome. driving high. I was like freaking out. And I waited like two hours at home and then I drove back Fuck, and I dude. brought him some like stickers and stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's like a thanks for the weed, but also I was like <laughs> horrified. And then I saw drove him, back. Yeah, later. Yeah, and I, I saw him like shit. a couple. I saw him one or two more times, just like walking through the mall. I wouldn't go over to him, but I'd be like, I just, hey. hey, you're the hey. only person, dude. Like you know, they talk about those power dynamics. You're the only person that <laughs> would get abused or taken advantage uh, of by the guy dude, below you. The first. In the power it's the first interaction, okay? For I was flabbergasted. I was oh, more so nervous was, than he was. That was your he first was time getting recognized. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, dude. 
Because <laughs> it's weird because it, it breaks the wall, the invisible wall between internet and real life. Yeah, and I'm like, no, yeah, I don't like that what town yet. I live in. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. like it, it's unsettling when like because I yeah. never really mentioned my town, and then all of a sudden there's just someone like mailing a bomb. Like, yeah, I, yeah, they like I know you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I know you, internet man, and I'm like. <laughs> Like car follows your half car. The time, the, yeah, half the time yeah. I got my fucking like baby with me, and I'm like, Jesus Christ! Like, no, no. I it, this is kind of funny. I was at Whole Foods, and I was like, Fresh Market or something. It doesn't matter. It's doxing for the guy, anyways. But I walk in, and there's classic scene of like stalking boy at a grocery store with old night. Like this guy was like. Ye old timey manager of a grocery store. He had like the fucking apron on and the, like the dress shirt and everything. Oh, and he was yeah. just like pointing, like obviously giving this little, <laughs> yeah. Go <Look over> there. <laughs> yeah. These go on the spin <laughs> aisle. <laughs> no, he was like giving this kid shit. Like you could tell, he was just like, "You're fucking. You need to work faster and harder or whatever." And the kid sees me and immediately like does this like not now old man <laughs> like, <laughs> like, shut up gramps and then he comes over and talks to me and he was just like hey sam what's up and then he just he like knew everything about me and i was oh, oh, i felt like saying did you just like tell off your manager like as soon as you saw me because it looked like you were getting chewed out yeah. and then you just power moved him immediately like <laughs> you're making me hands. look like shit old man shut yeah. the fuck up and get back to your place uh, hey sam are yeah. you hiring by chance you guys <laughs> yeah i might not have a job as soon as my boss comes out of yeah. that office <laughs> the first time i got recognized was so ego crushing for me I expected it to be like, like in my head, I was always like, I'm going to get recognized one day. It's going to be, it's going to be fucking cool. I'm going to be like, yeah, finally, like, I, I, you know, maybe, no. maybe it was, I, I made it. I did it. But, uh, they get and, you at the worst times. It was, <laughs> so it wasn't even that bad of a time. It's just how it happened. So like the first real time I got recognized, uh, like a bunch of people from my town, like knew what I did, whatever. And they'd be like, oh, you know, I heard a YouTube shit, but, uh, I was, I was walking out of, uh, the Eaton center and it's a big mall in Toronto. And I was with Smitty, who has like 5 million subs or whatever. And we're walking out of the Eaton Center. And this kid comes up to us. And he sees me first. And he goes, oh, hey, Blarg, I know your YouTube content. And he sees Smitty. He goes, can you take a picture of me and Smitty? Oh, <laughs> I was like, oh shit. I was like, oh, yeah. 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 No, oh, that's... That yeah, that's 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 cool, bro. <laughs> and he just took his face like, I just yeah. held up the phone and taken a selfie. Yeah. Uh, just yeah. had the camera yeah. pointed at yeah. just you. Act like yeah, you're taking a picture with been, him. That would have been better. Have you? Uh, uh, great. Have you? Have you taken selfies with with fans that get like the nervous where they get that shaky hands, <laughs> and they like. Bro, I always feel so Mine's bad. Always w women fans always, yeah, start I mean, quivering. They just shake and sweat. Yeah. Yeah. No, they like go to take a selfie with you and their hand is like going like shaking like crazy. And you know how when you take a picture with the iPhone, it like pops up with one frame of what the picture looks like? <laughs> Bro, it's, it looks like abstract art. It's just a blur. <laughs> and I'm just, they're just like, yeah, no, that was probably good. But I'm like, no, nah, that was, that was not good. You have to put your hand over there. Uh, just stay I've, only, <laughs> I've only seen that once and it was this kid that got fucking overwhelmed. <laughs> And it was uh, it was oh, at no. PAX West, and we were having that like Rust convention thing. Yeah, and it was like me, and then the person next to me it was uh, me and Wellen. Oh, we're like that. seeing seeing fans. And yeah, <clears throat> this guy comes up, and he has his uh, his little girlfriend with him, <laughs> and they're both like. <laughs> Keebler elf like maybe five feet tall they were just like really small like high schoolers and they go see wellen and then he turns and he talks to me and i'm like having a fun time with both of them and then all of a sudden like aqua shows up he's like oh you guys are doing your time thing and he like sees aqua and then somebody else shows up and he recognizes him and then it was like Mr. winner or something like that and then i saw him like four minutes later up against the wall like oh yeah we took selfies with him but like i I think one of us was like holding the phone like they were they yeah. gave us like security okay which was kind of cool because one of the cool. guys his name's raymond powers 
He's an actor, oh. and I guess he was doing security as like side work. He has like teardrop <laughs> tattoos. I think he's like a gangbanger. Oh, nice. oh, that guy. Gang fuck around. But yeah, I saw okay, this he's like an little. Actor, he's probably not a gangbanger. But... <laughs> no, no. He, he was telling me like I was like, hey man, watch out for the crazy fans. And he's just like, I, I'll, this, I'll I bang him. Am... <laughs> <I'll, I'll laughs> he was like, I can assure you, whatever's coming is not the heaviest shit I've seen. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Or at Pax West. I felt like that the, the little kid there. I should have been like, he has a knife. And you see what that fucking guy does so he probably twists off his fucking head. He does, head. He does, he does the rainbow ways. thing where he just takes that yeah. I'm gonna gangbang this guy. Yeah. Uh, anyways, I saw that guy with his girlfriend. Like she was like like it's okay it's fine and he was just like shaking by the wall like four minutes later he was like oh my god oh and she was like holy shit are you okay dude it was a very strange thing but i did witness his on he was so uncomfortable because he like he was in between like three or four people and he like it was like a revolving door he's like i recognize that guy and that guy y'all should have cornered him and just peered yeah. over him and, like <laughs> <laughs> You can now be our friend. Yeah, you're part of the group. Yeah. The, the last time I got recognized, it was like the complete opposite of that, where the guy was like just so casual about it. I didn't even know if like we were on the same page. So it, was, it was after a concert ended, and I'm like talking to my friends. And it was funny because like it literally had just gotten brought up. They're like, What do you do now? And I'm like, You really like you have no idea what I do. And they're like, No, you've never told us. I'm like, oh fuck, like maybe I am too secretive. Like you guys are like my good friends. I thought you have no idea what I do. Like a terrible idea. Like, I thought you were like in between jobs or something. I'm like, it's like you're the years. Kramer. You're the yeah, Kramer yeah, of the yeah, group. Yeah. And How I, does he pay his uh, rent? And, uh, I was like trying to explain Crazy it to him when a guy just like walked over and was like, Yeah, I know. He's like, What what? And he's like, Yeah, like, I know you. And I'm like, What you, are you we talking about the like what from what? I'm like, do we like meet at a bar or something? And he's just like, hmm, yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And, and, uh, and my friend was like, just say it. Like, what do you know? What do you know him from? He's like, yeah, forehead fables. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, cool. And then we just had like a really casual, like just very normal person conversation for like 10 I minutes. I like those ones. Those interactions yeah. are good. Those I always are, like those it are too. Solid. They always go, well, you're taller than I thought you'd be. I'm like, well, also, I guess I don't like that. I'm like, I, I get I mean, people thinking I, I'm shorter than they. I, for some reason, everyone thinks I'm like six five. I'm like, I'm not just oh, under six nice. foot. And I get people that are like, they walk up and they're like, I don't know. I thought you were gonna be tall. Like, <laughs> well, what? Sam's like six five. It scares the shit out of people. You're six five. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not. Bone dry, six seven. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I'm like six two or something like that. Okay, I mean that's, yeah, that's, like that's that. not bad. You measure yourself every goddamn day. <laughs> so lucky. <laughs> Wait, you're you're like an inch shorter than me. What are you talking God, about? You're so lucky, fuck, dude. That little two at the end of it. That's nice. <laughs> dude, Aqua yeah. definitely probably gets that a lot. He's probably taller than people think because he comes off so meek in some ways, but he's just like a big guy. Yeah, we're he's we're like drawn. the same height, but he's all like wiry and thin. Yeah, he's you know, did you know there's like a thing where he's really fast? You would not expect him to be quick. Did he foot race Sturdecky at no? The I feel like I could Is beat Sturdecky him in a foot race. A I'm going for it. No, dude, he kicked Sturdecky's ass in a foot race, and I you how fast is Sturdecky though? Sturdecky, oh. I watched him you stream sitting like in a cardboard fast. box for seven days. <laughs> yeah, like, there's no way that guy no, has good agility. He's no, like, you would think right? you he's, wouldn't think he just would have good agility all day. Off was like zippy. It's like I, quick as hell. Joe, this sounds like a, a grade school argument, like just settling on the playground. Who is a really fast one? Who's faster? <laughs> you're cooler if you're faster. So I was I was impressed with Aqua. I definitely I didn't say shit after that. I wasn't gonna be like, I bet I could beat you. I, 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 I sat my ass down. I listened. I yeah, okay, this is a master. This guy clearly did like grade school races. Like he knows he had like form and shit. I'm like, oh, okay. did, well, did yeah, he yeah. start? Did he, he start like wife, really low? Yeah, like his white bolt? bring out the box. <laughs> <laughs> She laced them shoes. up and yeah. she loaded up the starting pistol. Oh, yeah. Had yeah. his name she, engraved she, on top, the yeah. box and everything. Yeah. Like he does this all the time. She, she shot it right by Mr. Uh, ears. Yeah. So she fucking hit him in the back of the head with it. Yeah. Start bang. 
Yeah. Uh. Shoots him right in the eyes with it blind. Yeah. Yeah. And then we all beat uh. the shit out of Strudek until he died. Yeah. Man, that was uh. what a wedding. Yeah. Did you say a you wedding? You guys a wedding? had a, a foot race at a <laughs> wedding? Yeah, they just raced yeah. each other. It was... Uh, I think it was like the after. I can't Looking remember. Like a, like, a, like, a, like a little foot race after. It was a, a wedding. gamer wedding, so the yeah. you know oh, it's got are... more lax rules. Yeah, I'm I'm excited for one of those eventually. I mean, one of my uh, one of two of my good friends has got a. Well, he proposed to her, so now they're engaged. So hopefully their wedding goes hard. But I've never been to a wedding that doesn't like suck ass. Like I'm I'm oh. Arab, uh, so all I've gone to is Arab weddings, and they sound fun in 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 theory. <laughs> Are like they long. Why you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's, yeah, hey, Sam, you got, you got beef with the Arab weddings. Sam's so come on, Sam. Sam. Fucking boot you <laughs> from the collar or something, dude. What is that? What? Uh, he's dragging. He's dragging. What the? What? Why do you got beef with the Arab weddings? I didn't say anything. Well, you were dying. What the fuck? <laughs> no, but dude, so like, I don't know. You th you'd think yeah, they'd be so, cool. You'd think they'd be the coolest weddings ever. Yeah, well, like, there's a point where like the only the only fun part is when like they put them they they put them up on chairs and they literally just start throwing stacks of like hundred dollar bills at them Whoa. instead of giving like gifts of like so Whoa, those wedding hey, gifts. Cool. So instead of wedding gifts, so ground so going wide. around. Yeah, like <laughs> you just sneak a couple twenties. <laughs> What is going on, brother? <laughs> you have to take the glass or something. Oh Dude, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is just not, not <laughs> cool, <laughs> Sam. Not cool. Yeah, what's going on? <laughs> oh, talk your shit, Sam. Yeah, this is oh, probably man, pretty dude, shocking. Arab weddings, those sound great. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was a funny yeah. story. <laughs> This is, yeah, that was some really funny stories. So yeah, just, so... They throw money at him. <laughs> <laughs> this oh, probably man. actually comes as almost as big of a shock, but I go to a lot of Irish Catholic weddings. And they are not no, as fun. Right? As good. No. <laughs> they're, yeah, they, they're yeah. long. Yeah, your <laughs> weddings are fucking yeah. long, too. That's the yeah. only fun part. And then the rest of it is like just eating fucking kibby with a leaf, and I just. I don't. I don't mm -hmm. like Arab food. I don't eat grape leaves and kibbe and <coughs> whatever other oh, nonsense going on. Like baklava. Uh, sometimes. Wait, it's a Greek it? thing. Isn't yeah, it? Is, I, I think don't know. It's, it could be. I almost said places. balaclava, but that's the that's <laughs> yeah, the face yeah. mask thing. Well, yeah. Yeah. Probably yeah, very, those two. two very different vibes. <laughs> <laughs> very similar. <laughs> very, very different Arab so activities. So with their this wedding, <laughs> that's not good. That's <laughs> fucked up, dude. <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> yeah, Arab wedding? There must be balaclava. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you think I'd say that? Come on. Oh, baklava, delicious little treat. Oh, no, yeah, no, those are those aren't bad. Those aren't those aren't too bad. The first time I ate one of those was actually my. Uh... I said it because you said like fucking olive leaf. I'm like, isn't that Greek too? Like, yeah. we're just we're yeah. gonna yeah. Yeah. Grape leaves. Baklava. I don't know. I think Mediterranean. I think they yeah. share everything. I think it's uh, all the Mediterranean brown yeah. people just eating whatever the fuck. Well, but, I like uh, to assume a lot. Yeah, no, cultures. that's yeah. Really yeah I like to generalize. It's you know, it's fun. Well, not general. I like to assume, and then if you correct me, I'm just like, yeah. Eh. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'll, I'll believe what I want to believe. <laughs> I've already written it down in my mind. <laughs> I, 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 I'm not erasing and rewriting. You're wrong. Yeah. Uh, oh man. <laughs> Uh, Ryan, you yeah. go to a wedding. <laughs> you go I go to a wedding. No, I want, I'm still trying. I'm racking my head as to why Sam was laughing so bad. I didn't want to. What do you want to guess? Yeah, I, I, you I, can't run down your. You can't run it down the list. <laughs> what, what could possibly be laughing at? This fucking Aryan nation looking guy is like I'm Arab. That's not I funny am. to you. I, I literally straight up look I I mean it's lucky because I don't get in, hair. I don't get in too and much contacts. issues at like at like airports and stuff till they like see my last name. I, like, I it's uh, not it's not crazy error, but it's Arab enough where TSA like they check their little list. Oh, the random checks come in. Yeah, no, it's, it's yeah. actually pretty funny because like 
I'll be with my girlfriend's family and she's like as white as my whiteboard behind me and their whole family is like that. And, and Good we'll never. go through, we'll go through with, through TSA and, and there'll all be, be smiles until they look at my passport and see the last name. And, and you know, the picture I got in the middle of summer, so it's tanned. And then suddenly they got to check me for drugs. And it's just <laughs> in my head, I'm always laughing. So it's like, I'm, I'm an Arab guy. Why are you checking for drugs? Check for a bomb. <laughs> what are you doing? So it's, it's, it, they're checking for the wrong things, but yeah, no, I've been like actually pulled in multiple times traveling with white families oh, just oh as soon gosh. as they check the last name. It's pretty, but I, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty white passing. My dad is a little brown guy, funny little brown guy. My mom is. <laughs> does he do like little shit, jokes so. and stuff? And, and like dances little, and stuff? Yeah, little no, little he's tricks. just, it's just because he's a little chubby, balding Arab guy. It's just everything he does is slightly funnier. <laughs> yeah. <I'm sorry. laughs> so like. Like you see, like you, you, well, it's like you see, like a you know a fit dude just riding a bike. It's not funny, but if you see this little yeah. balding Arab man uh, like ride the bike, yeah. you're like, that's funny. I like that. Yeah, so that's that's a vibe. I, I would gives point, up. Laugh, point at him and laugh. Yeah, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> by still doing anything, just existing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's going yeah. to the grocery store like a regular person. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, maybe you'll look like that someday. Yeah, and no, probably. Be, oh no, yeah. no. I'm, see, I'm, I'm gonna you be won't self-aware. Even have to work though. to be funny or anything. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I just, I'm just gonna have to show up. You can just I'll do like faces. <laughs> just exist. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just need to pay rent. I'm gonna go ride my bike around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go find my Ride your bike with like a church collection bin in front of you, and just let people throw wads of cash in it. No. No, I probably won't look like that at any point. I'm, I I got like my mom's skin tone, which is unfortunately pretty lucky, but <laughs> so I should be okay I, there. I didn't think I would look anything like my family, and now I'm, I, I see it. It's happening. Yeah. yeah. When I was young, I was like, oh, there's no way this could become my dad. And now I look in the mirror, and I'm like the perfect middle <laughs> ground between my dad and what I looked like when I was a kid. I was like, oh, yeah. no. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I'm sliding down the graph. Oh, God, yeah, I'm going to be there eventually. <laughs> I I look like exactly like my dad. So I, I and it's just my entire life. Everyone's always been like, "Oh, little my dad's name," and I'm like, yeah. oh, "God damn it!" Like this is not gonna. And we always like, wait, wait. We, does we your look different ish? What does your half brother look like? His dad, the one that you showed God, us last dang. episode. Yeah, every... dude, your mom did like a yeah. direct yeah. upgrade. Yeah. <laughs> well, you would be wrong. You mean downgrade? He's oh, older. downgrade? He's older than you? Yeah, your mom oh, did a direct yeah. downgrade. Did you see that uh, picture? He looks like he's 20 years older than me. Yeah, what do you mean he's older? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, fucking this. I don't know, dude. This <laughs> is... that... Blark, his half brother has well, this fucking jawline. Yeah, he's he looks like, like, yeah, like a huge, like a yeah, yeah. jawline also, and everything. Listen, I'm not saying mm-hmm. I want to fuck my dad or anything, but <laughs> my dad is substantially better looking than his dad. Oh, it exactly. would be, he okay. looks more like his dad in a way, but his dad is like uh he's like medieval attractive. Maybe he's a blacksmith <laughs> and he's right. he's like a bald right. blacksmith. A little bit of oh, he, he's trying he's to like skate a, through his life on that jawline like is what it is. He didn't put any yeah. other work into it. Uh no. Yeah. Uh, I don't I don't think so. We all it pisses my mom off really bad because like all her kids look like their dads and not like her. And she's always like, Well, I see it a little like I think he looks like me some and I I look absolutely nothing like my mom and not as does anyone else in my family. She's like, well, if his eyes were green and he was paler and he had different yeah. colored hair, like his nose was a little shorter and his face yeah. was wider. I'm like, okay, what the fuck? Eyes further apart yeah. a little bit. Yeah. He's more cross-eyed. Oh. And- more, yeah. Yeah. Ears are bigger. Yeah. Uh, he had big old titties. Yeah. Big, big, old, big voluptuous tits oh. on him. A perfect ass. <laughs> oh, yeah. where it's like my family will one day watch the podcast. Yeah. Be like, what the fuck oh. is he? <laughs> my, dad, my dad will be the first one to find it too. So it's like, oh shit, I'm he, sorry. But he might high five you for that statement. Yeah. He might be like, that's funny. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But I, I'm starting to look more like it, especially now. I didn't realize my hair would curl at all, and then when it got longer, like it did. He, he has like actual curly hair though, like very. Could he rock a thinner. zoomer perm? Yeah, I mean, he just kind of looked oh. like when his hair grows, it just gr- like it just grows Bro. into that basically. Me and Brian should get zoomer perms. I you think got that, dude, yeah, for yeah. for TwitchCon. <laughs> what if we all for... showed up with bleach <laughs> zoomer perms? Oh, you guys look great. <laughs> I uh, before puberty, I actually had like a full afro, like 
like this. Oh, it went like, the other it was way. Big. Yeah. So oh. like I used to have curly ass hair. Blonde headed mm. Arab with uh, an afro. Okay. Yeah. Dude, I am just a mix of <laughs> what a is jumbo. happening with you? My, when my dad did have hair, it was curly. <laughs> like it, it was nice and curly when my dad did have hair. Like it, he just he, what is you know going on little with you tight curls. Dude, I'm a fucking <laughs> mess. A There's fucking a freak. The worst part is he like a science experiment. Yeah. The Arab parts of me that like. They were, my grandma and grandpa should like hate each other. They were like violently at war. It's like Palestinian and Lebanese. They just did not vibe with each other. Like and then Romeo somehow and Juliet. I got yeah. mixed with I got mixed with that. And then I don't know where was the, it a consensual you, you relationship? Like or was I, it I hope born so. Of war. Wait, what? Of war. <laughs> like you are born of war. <laughs> born of war. This is an internal war. Yeah, I don't know. They're they're I, genetically. I'm a I'm a fucking shit show. Just a. Just a whole bunch of nonsense going on, but but the predominant ones are Arab. Despite are you in good health? Despite I I think so. <laughs> that's all that matters. Yeah, yeah that's important. Yeah. yeah, I like to I like to just uh, ignorance is bliss. If you don't go to the doctors, then yeah. you know if technically I, if nothing's ever. If wrong. I don't look at my penis, I'm like man, I'm, <laughs> the, I'm not I'm disappointed. Yeah, yeah. I have a doctor's I, appointment tomorrow morning, and and my doctor keeps like. <laughs> He can't like demand anything of me, but he's also just like, will you please like play along like somewhat? He's like, will you just get your blood work done? I was like, you guys don't have like a fucking needle here. You have the box on the back of the door where you put the dirty needles. So you have them in the building. Just take my blood here. No, I got to go across town. And so I haven't yes. done blood work in like four years. And he's like, we need to know what's going on. And he's oh, like, you're, every time you come in here, you're more and more red like a lobster. Like your blood pressure is all fucked up. Like what is going on Yo. inside of you? I'm not going to get the blood work done. I, <laughs> I don't want to know. I need to yeah. get blood work done. It's I need scary. To see what happens. I, uh, I I used to get it all the time and I hated it. Oh, all I, don't the time. Like, I don't like needles and stuff. But my, my, I also just come from a family where they're like, you're not going to the doctor unless you're fucking bleeding right. out of your ears. Unless you're sick, yeah. Yeah, you like unless bro, you are fucked up. If it ain't broke, don't up, fix it. Like, you're fine. And I'm like, oh, God, like, I can't see. I need glasses. <laughs> yeah. My mom's like, fucking eat this vitamin and shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> God, Speaking of which, scripted. Abby uses, like, any excuse to use our insurance. Oh, and bitch. Like, it's gonna we, we, <laughs> like uh, I was very happy that me or my brother did not end up looking like my mom, right? <laughs> And because my mom so is a very my mom is a very stout woman, but she's right? hot. she's sexy though in a way, they, like a like a lunch yeah. lady stout, just very oh, like oh yeah, you know? like and, bingo uh, wings and all that yeah. jazz. And uh, so my daughters ended up ha- they had these fucking like <laughs> <laughs> they got these fucking clawed oh, hopper okay. feet, dude. <laughs> they got oh, these no. big old fire stomping feet, uh, and, oh, no. and like and just like all really thick legs. I remember one time at the doctor. Yeah, 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 they are, they are, but they're unusually thinking. I remember one time at a doctor's point, Abby's like, "Is that normal? What's going on?" I was like, "No, they just look like my mom. That's why they look like baby Uh, elephant legs, (laughs) circular (laughs) filet mignon feet, because they just have my genes in them. You picked wrong. (laughs) Use that insurance to get them some cosmetic surgeries while they're young. That it's like getting their ears pierced when they're a kid. Get them some." Lipo, get him some <laughs> definitely a good idea. Yeah, 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 the problem while it's early. Yeah. Like braces. Yeah, foot yeah. bindings, <laughs> shit like that. I don't know. You know horrific. <laughs> Have you ever seen how lipo's done? Uh, no, like it they, is one of the most gruesome things. And it sucks all the fat out of them. <laughs> Why have you been looking act- it up, dude? What is that actually fuck? what happens? It just sucks fat out, like little Teletubbies no, vacuum. They, they like, cut you and then like they they make an incision. They make one hole and then they okay. sit there with this with this like tube. With yeah, a hose right. connected to it, and they just and they go get it started. Gong, by, gong, gong, gong. They to and they suck it, and <laughs> spit a little bit out. Yeah, like, it's like, like siphoning they, it out. They, they just they stab like they basically <laughs> fill the tube with fat yeah. as they stab, and oh. it gets sucked out the back. And they just sit there and like knife you repeatedly it's more <laughs> with it. What? It's oh. like more yeah. of like an incisions. No, they ins- yeah. they put the incision in there. The and, one, just go to and then they put the tip in, and then they just sit there and slide the length of it down the fat layer to fill it up. Uh, and oh, so it's one I'm, stab yeah. hole, but multiple stabs <laughs> inside. Like Painkillers. You're probably shit. under, right? They, yeah. they say, shit. like, you wake up the next day and you're just like, my fat oh, you got stabbed. Like, yeah. I stayed by a car. Holy shit. This yeah. fucking hurts. It's supposed to be <laughs> agonizing. 
So, oh, you know, I, can, we, I can do that to my kids. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like yeah. Story yeah. short. Yeah. Let's, yeah. So when people it. get their ears pierced, they're like, oh, fuck, <laughs> my ear. Yeah, they say it, my car. Yeah. <laughs> Just my, my ear got ran my over. My ear love was ran over. <laughs> yeah. My car. Uh, have you ever Bro, been in a car accident? Uh, I, I have. I got rear-ended by a semi-truck on a way to a Paul McCartney concert while on an international oh, border crossing. There was layers. Yeah, time. I was... Uh, it was it was it's so it's kind of the car's fault uh my dad had uh, a lexus at the time and that's when they first started implementing like that auto stop for like collision warning and shit are and you from was, like oil money no <laughs> yeah, not that kind of oil money grocery store <laughs> grocery store money was was my dad oh, he owned a, okay. a bunch oh. of gro- there's like two two pathways like two you know two life choices where an arab guy takes yeah. where it's either like convenience store grocery, grocery store, store or oil money and he mm. chose he chose the the grocery store, unfortunately. But uh, oil money would have been cool. He yeah. should have chose it would have been that, so but... much better. I would have been yeah. doing this podcast from like my Bugatti and just sitting in here. But uh, but uh, yeah, he no, we're driving this podcast. No, yeah, we were driving to a Paul McCartney concert, and then uh, there was like road work being done, and it saw some metal rebar, whatever the fuck was laying on the road, and it just decided uh, for my dad's behalf, it decided it would slam the brakes full stop for us and we were going probably like 60 kilometers an hour i don't know if that's like 35 40 miles an hour like so we just no just just a, just a dead <laughs> stop and we got ran by a semi truck and i went forward and like did a little bit of whiplash my dad went for a little bit of whiplash my sister was laying in the back seat and we got hit so hard that she rolled down between the front and back seat and then the the collision actually crumpled the frame of the car a little bit and squished her between the front and the back seats. That and was the last she... time I saw her. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so he's booked the funeral. No, so oh, yeah. <laughs> my dad's like, oh, like, Matt, are you all good? I was like, yeah, I'm good. Like, are you good? And then, like, just a quiet, muffled, like, of, like, my sister being uh, jammed between the between right. the seats. That's and uh, Yeah, I just had to, like, grab her by the legs and, like, basically pulling, like, pull start a lawnmower where you just – tug real i basically just did that out a leg <laughs> just, oh just, just had her limb no i uh just just tugged her out and then i went to go see paul mccartney oh. and that was a it was a weird oh, you still went to the concert yeah, yeah still went to the concert you were just there the holding board. your neck yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's in a neck brace <laughs> crying oh, <laughs> so on the run my dad got <laughs> fucking hammered though so i didn't know none of us honestly he was probably stupid for doing it but if you get a concussion and you even have like a drink you will just be shit pissed hammered like he was destroyed i was holding him <laughs> up at this concert. An idea he Is was just blast? <laughs> and i'm just holding up this this little <laughs> arab man yeah on a budget for alcohol get in a fucking with. car wreck get rear-ended uh, by a semi-truck gosh. yeah and it was like <laughs> it was like right on the border yeah, of detroit hammer. too so this is like a uh, bad spot for that to happen. Yeah, like I live like 15, 20 minutes from Detroit. Like I live the city over. Mm-hmm. So like we cross over to go see concerts there and stuff. And yeah, it's not a good place to get rounded by semi truck. I can oh, I can say God. that confidently. Well, now no, I know if you want to save fun. money on beer, buy a te- yeah, or, exactly. uh, Lexus. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> have it stop on a finish. bridge and yeah. just get <laughs> rear-ended. Buy Lexus with own. future brake technology and <laughs> go to a Paul McCartney concert. <laughs> have, have you guys been in any wrecks? I called a wreck. Now I'm going to be. a wreck wreck. We just, you know, <laughs> um, small accidents. Like, I didn't see okay. some small fender benders. Not, yeah. Never with me driving <laughs> knock on wood. Okay. Like every time I get in a goddamn Uber lately, it's like, well, tomorrow on the fucking way to the airport now, I feel like they're I'm going to explode. Yeah, the airport ones are fucking, uh, dude, they're crap. Oh, those ones are built different. Where yeah. it's just like, well, I almost died there. Like, and they just are like, oh, my bad. Like, in the back seat, like, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Like, yeah. Free, like, swerving and shit. And it's just like, okay, like, I guess. So I do my flights in like two yeah, hours. Dude, like, you I don't have to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're good, man. Yeah. Uh, they, yeah, drive, they bust through the gate and take you to the plane. Flying <laughs> up, and they go right by it. Oh, God, <laughs> you jump on the wing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. mine. Yeah. 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 the effort, man. Yeah. Yeah. Go, Did go, you guys go, see go, that guy that like snuck his way onto the tarmac at the airport no. and no. he just stole a plane oh and he just flew up it. wait you're yeah, talking about the guy that crashed it and like yeah had the, yeah he didn't he worked at the airport no he worked uh, at the airport but like the way he went about 
oh, I mean, doing it sneaky. was very it was hate, sneaky hit man because he yeah he came in with all of his stuff he went through like security with like his suitcase a certain way i'm not there. gonna i'm not gonna there. steal a plane today <laughs> yeah, yeah right. God, hey, you know me well, he, i've never flown a plane he worked before on the he, for three at all. <laughs> like, he did i don't think he worked on the tarmac but he like got onto a little tractor thing and pulled the airplane to like jump start it and then he <laughs> Pulled down the door really quick and ran up it and pulled oh the door up behind God, him. That's and, insane. Like while it was rolling yeah, a lot and of everything. I love that guy because he, he went, like, what <laughs> it's all recorded a lot of the shit he's saying. And he, like, did a barrel roll or something. Really? An airplane yeah. And people were like, he, that's an impossible. Did he, like, yeah. well, did he actually know how to fly a plane or did he work at, like, the like, Chick fil A at the airport? Like, like, what did he, uh, I think he the Wright brothers even did barrel rolls. It's <laughs> yeah. not yeah. that impossible. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jim, I'm talking about the commercial airplane. It was, yeah, like, I mean, like, I it, was like, like a, it was like a little private plane. It was okay, like, a, I, I just yeah. remember, I mean, I. What I'm a constant spreader of false information, but I'm pretty sure there was a thing where they're like, yeah, he's going to die if he tries that. Like he didn't have enough room, and he stopped oh, okay. pulling out, and they're like, "Oh, okay, oh my oh, god, nice. like he was like, low altitude." Yeah, he was like, like "Let's not make the wings touch the ground yeah, or also, something." Like, <laughs> when he's up there, he's just talking scared. about like, "Wow, I did not know my mental health was this bad," and he, he like didn't want to kill <laughs> anyone else. Crazy. Like he wasn't he, oh. he crashed it in an area with no people in it. He just oh wait, to, like, he like he died. He just wanted he just yeah, wanted a joyride, yeah. and then he crashed it. I mean. Shit, if you're he gonna go out, it up I too guess beforehand, I think. Oh, like he did the whole thing. He, he yeah. Filled. yeah, he fit, well, because it was well, an empty he, plane, he, he pointed, filled up he the plane. He pointed it right back at the airport and jumped out without a picture. <laughs> that way they could uh, still get their plane yeah. back. Yeah. <laughs> Just kept going. Yeah. Yeah, that uh, guy rocks. Yeah. yeah. Like, more Rocked. people should be like him. Yeah, yeah. more yeah. people should kill themselves in an airplane. Not tomorrow and not on a... Let the New York planes. Not, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Come on, they, New York for a while. Yeah. Come on, Come on. nine eleven just happened. Come on, yeah. Yeah, uh, it still feels like yesterday, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Going back on Ubers, have you guys had any like crazy Uber experiences or anything like fucked happening while you're in an Uber? Yeah. Yeah. I've I've, crazy, uh, I've stopped doing Ubers because the only time I'd ever conceivably want one is when i don't want my car left someplace which means i'm yeah. going to the airport so i'm like hey drive me to the airport and then i've done it twice and the whole time i'm in the car i'm just sitting there going like this guy knows where i live and he knows i'm not going to be there for five days like because oh, the yeah. first yeah. thing you do is you sit down block. you don't just get in there and be like oh man my roommate's now gonna have to water my plants <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't like know. Like, like guys, they, they just with pry information out of me. I'm an idiot. Like, I'm, not, I'm an open book. <laughs> yeah. I sit down. The guy's like, "Where are you going? You're going to the airport." I'm like, "Daughters will be home alone." <laughs> <laughs> They're defenseless. We have no guns in the house. Yeah, <laughs> we don't even know how to use the gun. I swear. <laughs> I left the back door unlocked. Oh. <laughs> Basically, yeah. And then, like, the whole time, I'm just sitting there thinking, God damn it. Like, I just told this guy, like, everything. I have this so other now way I where have people drop I'll, me off. I'll sit in the back in complete silence, and they'll be like, Hey, where are you heading? I'm like, home they're like oh my god in 2005 like i killed this chick or something like, yeah, just yeah, open yeah, up yeah, yeah. so quickly i don't know if it's yeah. like the way i look or what <laughs> this one yeah. guy he's i wasn't me. ready for that he's just like uh <laughs> yeah like over there that's the park where like this guy got out uh like he got out of jail and then he he killed my nephew and his best friend and chopped him up and threw him at least like he was a bounty hunter that went crazy like killed my nephew and his best friend i'm like oh my god like i was so stunned i'm like could, i thought he was joking maybe at first because we but up until then we're just having like a very casual wait this like, like this actually happened yeah, yeah. yeah this is real yeah the guy was just talking about like yeah and like he got my nephew and his friend but like i think he had an accomplice because if you're what the four, fuck you like, say if you're 15 you see your friend get shot you're running like i don't know how he got both of them and i'm like uh, oh I thought God. that was a, a bit. I thought you were just doing no. a, a little little meme there. No, That's no, no. Fucked. And, he, and he, was yeah. like, he was like, yeah, he dumped the bodies right there. And it's like fucking one minute from my house. I'm like, oh, cool. Like, that is, that's great. Oh, my God. And he's That's like, insane. Yeah. And then, then the bounty hunter like got away with it for a while and lived right across from the uh, my nephew's mom. And she ended up killing herself because she couldn't take it anymore. Oh and I'm just God. like, oh, my God. Who like, said what if this guy has just weaved the most ridiculous he story and he's like, I'm just going to tell no, each person that comes in lying. here. No, like, that, that, yeah. 
There's but who puts a bounty on a 15 year old? Like, no, uh, why? Kid, no, it, it wasn't. <laughs> that was the <laughs> thing. Like, the bounty hunter wasn't fulfilling a bounty. He just happened to be just, a bounty yeah, hunter and just, crazy, just which little, I feel like okay. the crossover of those. No, that's probably high. a high yeah. crossover there. Yeah. And yeah. Then, like, bounty hunter, just, they're not normal people I, usually. No. <laughs> he just wakes up and goes, I'm going to shoot somebody in the face for money. I had a guy on the way home from the airport, like, I don't know, like six months ago or something just start talking to me about all this shit like oh my god like yeah he's this ugly little troll man and he's like <laughs> yeah like i had these two lesbians they wanted me to be their third but like i told him i couldn't do it like not unless you paid me or so like just kept telling me story after story that you know is isn't fake. true and, and, and then yeah. also dude he's like being tricked somehow i couldn't really figure out that the triples, whole scheme triples every but he's like look at this like look at this guy look at this guy like shows me some fucking shirtless picture of some like ripped dude and he's like yeah that's my son's friend and uh like he's actually going to be living with us for a while and i told him like hey man if you better not come into my bedroom like no gay shit or any of that i'm like okay like, you know, and it, 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 he's like he's kind of projecting there and no and he's like and I'm, i've met him before he's cute like he's a good and i'm like okay you want to fuck this kid like okay. <laughs> you fuck this. Yeah. just tell me you want to fuck very the kid. obvious yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, with, like, yeah like i could bang a lot of chicks but i don't now i'm going to show you this, this kid i want to so fuck and it, he, he just like showed me like their entire conversation it was like i yeah, think this guy just wants to weird. fuck anything like yeah, he's like, he's he's none of these no people bite. exist no, but and they he, are he humans like, and i want to put my dick in them he's like he's hot he's gonna be in the movies like he's gonna be a movie star i'm like okay like sure <laughs> awesome and, dude. and he's like yeah he's paying me to be his driver and bodyguard to take him off to buffalo next week or something and like then he's gonna start living in my house with me and my son i'm like uh, oh my god that sounds like a person that's Dude, going places yeah. Yeah. yeah and he was like he was like yeah he's so sick of like all these bitches only want him for his body so like he's just like he's not even into girls anymore and i'm like oh my Dude, he like, wants to fuck, fuck him more yeah. uncomfortable no he clearly wants to fuck him and he's like, he's but not like, yeah. because of his body no no no, no he doesn't no, want to be like no, this. He's, he's above that he was even no, no, no he wasn't his son's friend he was his son's age which is also creepy to keep that's, mentioning well, I, that's i don't yeah. know if that's any better and he was oh. like, yeah, my son thinks I'm like, like, he's going to trick me or something like <laughs> piece of shit. I'm like, yeah, like, I don't know. Maybe your son could be onto something. And he's like, no, I met him before I met him. I'm like, okay. Like, Bro, he's being scared. He probably met, yeah. like the guy was probably in a fucking tinted car and like waved out like, I couldn't stay for a drink. He just drove by, but <laughs> It was so like, that, I don't know why bizarre. they open up to me like with the shit. It's they just, trust they you. Got a, you got a trustworthy face, like the face yeah, of like yeah. a just, black lab. I'm just you sitting know, in the just... back like, okay, 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 <laughs> okay. I... <laughs> See, that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> Like, oh, I'm sorry your nephew died and his mom killed himself. And yeah. He's like, oh, yeah, sorry about better. that, bro. <laughs> like, That's his sister, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Oh, if you want me to kill the guy or something? Yeah. 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 No, we can hunt him down. No, this, oh. uh, I was on a, I was on a cruise. It's like a similar, almost similar story to that. I was on a cruise and like, you know, you just, you just your friend. You did, yeah. no. So, dude, this, so this, this kid has been shot. Actually, I'll be exact enough. same story. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's like weirdly <laughs> intertwined. No, so I was, I was on a cruise. You know, you just, I don't know, you, you just randomly meet people, whatever chat, and this fucking kid's there, and he's like telling me that he's staying in like the nicest room on the boat and all this shit, and like telling me like that he's got they just went shopping on the boat and spent like 50 grand and stuff and i'm like oh nice like yeah are you here with like your parents like or you know you're just here by yourself he's like oh I'm, I'm staying with like my uncle he just like likes to take me places and like buy me stuff and i'm like is this, is this guy fucking his uncle yeah what and i'm the like fuck? dude like <laughs> he's just a weird dude we what are those bullet holes sam what, what is, the fuck is that? <laughs> but uh carry on <laughs> but yeah, this, oh. this this kid just like we were, hanging, we were hanging out with him, and uh, yeah, he like took us to his room, and like there's like a oh, big Jesus jacuzzi. Bath. My uncle wants to meet you. There's like yeah. no, bro. There's like a big Ooh, jacuzzi bath like in there. There's like a fire. There's only one bed, so like this oh, guy good. was hundred percent being fucked by his uncle in order for the monetization wow. things. But it was just. It was, it just, it reminded me of that a little bit where it's just, he, he's the opposite. He's the kid. 
rather than yeah, you talk to the uncle. I talk to the kid. I got the kid dude, perspective of it. I, I kind of want to go on a cruise again. I, I went on my first one last year. It was <laughs> that made you want to go on a cruise. <laughs> yeah, I want to fuck my uncle. I want to go, no, I go my uncle on a cruise. I, I on a, I'm not going to rehash it because I've probably talked about it like three times, but I just had the weirdest time of my life on a cruise. And like, it sucked, honestly. And it was just really weird and awful, but like, I kind of miss it. And now that I hear that, I'm like, I did get some good just like alone time and being like, what the fuck is going on <laughs> yeah, here? You like, sound like you have like Stockholm syndrome like, over like, the What's wrong cruise? with these people? Like, it's, there's there's a you. lot of like uneasy I, liminal spaces yeah, on no, cruise oh, ships. Yeah. Especially Especially where you're just like, they're supposed to be, that? where's everyone? There's yeah. 3,500 people on this fucking ship. Many where more, are they? <laughs> they're around somewhere. It's during COVID too. So it's like, there just weren't many people there Those and guys. everyone was asleep at 8 p.m. It was, just, <laughs> it was a Disney cruise. Those so little kids and their parents. And it would just be like me at, alone at every bar every night. And I just walk from bar to bar and be like, it was like it was in the shiny oh, hotel weird. or something. And I How just sad is it to be see, like a uh, uh, Mickey Mouse walk by or something? And I'm like, <laughs> 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 he's, 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 like shoulders are slumped. Like he's yeah. like, oh. no, they, the cast has like the cast had like secret fucking entrances to shit. So I'd be like out on the There's deck alone all of a sudden, like right next to me, fucking like three people walk out and they like <laughs> contractually there, have to be like hey what's going on yeah. <laughs> i just feel like drunk at 2 a.m on the fucking dock like do i jump and they're like hey buddy like what's going on like, fuck, like, i'm gonna end it i like i've already got like a bottle broken i'm holding it like, yeah. it's gonna chum the water yeah. <laughs> it's really creepy Jesus like Christ. just being out there in the night like you just see nothing out there except for yeah. other cruises and you're like someone could push me I could die. It would just be another right unsolved now. case. I feel all like a lot over. of those happen on cruises. <laughs> Is yeah. that all you think about? I Holy just, shit. I thought about that with like the, the COVID ship. Do you think like anybody went on a on a cruise and then would like just alone? voluntarily <laughs> stay in their room to distance? <laughs> They're just like stuck in a window. Yeah. <laughs> like that's their vacation. <laughs> <laughs> in that oh, weird little fire. room. I would need a deck. Yeah, if I were to. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'd go. What if insane. I went on a cruise by myself, dude? Do you think I could get laid, or do you think I'd get murdered? <laughs> yeah, I, One well, or two. It's like I, I feel just... like that's not the best place. Like cruises well, are predominantly like families, right? Like unless you're trying to fuck somebody's mom, like a little not fuck Disney cruises. Mom. <laughs> yeah, I know I've told this story before, but my brother went bar hopping on a cruise, and <laughs> he. And he like he was looking, he was looking for puss, man. That's what he was doing. He was a young man in his twenties, yeah. and he was looking for some. Nice. He had a very like poob energy going out there. Like he was like, let's see what's out here. Just like, <laughs> look, like sniffing for pheromones. Yeah, and then yeah. he he, the funniest thing in the world is next morning I walk out into the hallway as he's walking out with this like. 48 year old woman <laughs> that looked like she was 16. <laughs> like, uh, she, was, she was one of those that like wasn't aging well as she was like middle aged. She was she was like in her 40s but had the old lady like afro uh, thing no, going on. No, no. And I was like, bro, like come on. And I I remember then he had pissed me off doing something. And uh, he took your chick the night before. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He, he fucked my, he fucked my target. Yeah. And uh, no, we we're, we we're at like some family get together, and and like I pissed him off so much because I just walked in there. I was like, Yo, Zach, tell him about that lady you fucked on the cruise. Yeah. <laughs> These are like distant relatives that are like oh, old God. as shit, and they're yeah. like, What the fuck? Because uh, <laughs> I, I, you know. I'm, I'll embarrass myself just to fuck somebody over a little bit, you know. I mean, like the only people I could have possibly made a move on on the thing were like the cast members, and it's like you, you don't want to hit on the like. I, I mean, just have to assume Mickey Mouse is like bad under there. No, I, I remember I talked to one of them. I was like, because I know they have these crazy fuck parties in the basement of these things. Like it was just, they're on this cruise for months at a time. They got to be getting, and they're all like in their twenties and stuff. Yeah. And, I was asking this one girl, like, so what do you like? What do you guys do for fun here? And she's like, well, there's a Marvel trivia night going on right now. I'm like, oh my god, like what? It, like what else is there? And she's like, well, you can have there's a dance off with the cast, like with the costume cast members. What's behind the, the walls? Where's the crazy <laughs> like, where's, party, where's, bitch? The, where's the fucking weed? Where's, <laughs> where's, the, where's the ecstasy? Come on. <laughs> yeah, it's just like cruising for. And it's like my whole family's asleep every goddamn night. Which Dude, is good. They do nothing but serve. 
you guys all day. The last thing she's going to do is go back to her little shack, like, bunk bed, pull out her little baggie of weed from under her pillow and her slave's <laughs> quarter <laughs> and, <laughs> and give it to the guy she's been serving eight meals a day to. Yeah. And the Does guy anybody that even weed maintain weed, weight on a cruise ship? <laughs> no, they fucking, uh, you leave a cruise ship like 10 pounds heavier. Dude, I probably Dying. lost weight because all I did was fucking walk laps around this <laughs> thing. Just like contemplate. Look, you're looking at, they were probably having a hard time with you, dude. They were like, oh my god, he's walked by the Mickey Mouse shaped door seven times and he hasn't noticed yeah, yet, yeah, but like, Where, where, where'd he go? He's off the cameras. And I'm fucking right behind him. I, 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 I explored every crevice of that place by the end of the week. I could. Like, uh, I imagine they have hidden doors, right? Like that are. No, they do. They do. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. joking. They, they, they've got like uh, little fucking tunnels for them and shit. Yeah. And I, I, multiple times when I got drunk enough, I'm like, what if I just like I don't want to get arrested on a cruise, but like what if I just like uh, fucking opened up a door? Like, like just they wouldn't do anything, dude. They bro, you just go just in there like the, the guys oh, who went the rat holes in Vietnam. They were like <laughs> A lot of them have like, if you go in here, you will be court-martialed. You will be <laughs> court the fucking head. We have the right to uh, well, kill. Well, I assume they have the air marshals. I'm assuming they have sea marshals. That, yeah. Uh, but you, you think a, a sea marshal would shoot you in the hand for going into Mickey <laughs> Mouse hideout? He's trying to get to Daffy. Yeah. He's got fucking shooters on every yeah. part of the boat. Uh, Incredible. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I do not fuck with uh, cruises very much. They're uh, not, not for me. I went on one with my do family. A tables cruise. <laughs> I, 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 I just hate cruises so much that would be just, perfect to just, I would just be so pissed uh, off the whole time. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm stuck on this ship. One I hate it. Too. The first uh, night we saw like a full fucking Broadway level play. And I was so goddamn seasick, and like the boat was lurching, and there's like, like fucking bang, 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 like full production play, and we're like, we gotta get close. So I was like, uh, I felt like I was gonna throw up so bad, but yeah, everyone in the play was really hot, so I maintained, maintained focus. Where are you guys up to after this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, I just don't like the feeling of everything being so guided. It's very like yeah, Westworld, no. and I'm like, I I want to break I, free from that. Like, they didn't ah, make us do any. Like, me out. <laughs> they like landed, and they're like, all right, you can go out now to this really creepy Disney island where everything's perfect. No, I mean like just... on the ship. Like yeah. they just they they know too much. They watch you too much. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I, dinner, Dude, the meals though, the I just meals feel like a cattle though. Phenomenal. Yeah, they, they're <laughs> like, oh, you liked the pork chop last night. Like maybe tonight you would like. And I'm like, yes, don't fucking pay you know, attention to what I yeah. Yeah. I wanted to be a mystery. Yeah. Yeah. I, I definitely mentioned this before, but like, I remember the first night they were like, they gave my mom something. She's like, I'm vegetarian. They're like, oh, we'll try something. And they gave it to her. And they're like, what'd you think? And she had eaten like most of it. And she's like, oh, it was good. Thank you. The guy's like, okay, like, don't lie to me. Like, you didn't like the food. Like, he gets aggressive. No, yeah, no. Yeah. You turn the table yeah. over. Yeah. Slowly pulls no, out the knife like, from under you, the you, table. You, 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 the like, we'll do better next time. Like, do you like Indian food? And she was like, oh, my God. Like, how'd you know I didn't like it? And he's like, oh, it's my job. And he's like, do you like Indian food? She's like, yeah. The next day, like, we eat already so much fucking food during the day and then at night they're like we fucking we slaved over this we worked tirelessly they just made like a four course indian meal on top of what we already had and our whole family's like oh and they bring out like fresh like the best fucking indian food i've ever had and then as the like we're like well fuck we can't not eat it because they did it just for my mom so everyone's kind of like I oh, like swap it in, <laughs> oh. and then my mom forgot she had paid already for like a fucking deep tissue massage that night, and she was trying to pawn it off. Like, please, like take my massage. Like, I can't go. Like, they'll like push oh, the Indian yeah. out of me. Yeah. Like, yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, no, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I yeah. ended up sharding during it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that, yeah. that would be a horrible situation to fucking uh, chart while getting a massage. I don't know oh if it gets God. much worse oh, than that. Did I, do that? Yeah. I think that I think that's the bottom. That is that is the valley of life. That it doesn't get any further down than than sharding during a deep tissue massage. I don't think. Charting and trying to blame it on the masseuse. <laughs> <laughs> what, what part of my body did you press? 
<laughs> ancient Chinese trick is it? He's <laughs> got a fucking I fire for starting this shit. Heart pressure boy. What the <laughs> I'm gonna sue <laughs> your ass. <laughs> that was actually Damn what they're gonna do and kill Bill. Yeah. Fucking shit is that? Yeah. Oh, so fucking hey, funny. do you guys want to do like a, a? It's not a therapy thing, but it is kind of funny. Someone wrote in something. Okay. Let anyway, I guess this them. is. No, it's not really a help them. It's more like my life sucks, <laughs> and we get to kind of laugh at it. A little oh bit. my god! Is that why he said today he's like, "Go ahead." <laughs> no, oh, no, no, no. He, he, he asked a question. Okay. <laughs> uh, along with it, but. It says, uh, I'm at sea for 30 days on a ship Whoa. doing a, a badass ecology job, right? So I guess uh, it's like a, a biomarine okay. or something. Ecologist. Ecologist, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, four days in, and my wife just told me she's leaving me. In your opinion, what's the best song to, uh, to listen to to get through hard times like this? Brandy. <laughs> yeah, Brandy. Right. Yeah. Girl, yeah. You can see yeah. Taylor from the sea. Listen, just... <laughs> Wait, no, don't listen to Brandy, whatever you do. Yeah. Avoid that song. Just give yourself a concussion to have, like, 10 beers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, just fuck. Oh, man. Poor guy. Yeah, that uh, sucks, uh, dude. That's that's time he was so excited on, yeah. for the ship. Well, actually, that's Why the fucked she... up of her. To wait yeah, waiting early, four days also, in. When he gets back, he'll be completely, like... All right, my shit's on the curb. I'm fucking. Yeah, you know, he's not yeah. Try to fight for her when he gets back. That's a long time at sea. To yeah, think. that's a long time. Yeah. <laughs> <I know laughs> like it's without like, answers. Sea. You should you, you should shit. report. You, you should uh, message again like 15 days in and see if your like, mental change. What stage of grief you're at? Wait, yeah. did you see his wife? Yeah, his wife. The yeah. Oh, that yeah. is worse. Oh, worse. Man. I was thinking girlfriend. Yeah, yeah that's like much together. worse. That's um, like half his money has left four days out to sea. <laughs> Mm, yeah, she has a lot of time to fuck with all the bank accounts yeah. and stuff. Yeah, and, yeah, oh, meetings of lawyers. And, I'm gonna yeah, change you're, the locks and read you're gonna be you're gonna be in shambles when you get home, my friend. Yeah, that was that a sucks. tactical move. She was planning the, on doing it. He's not gonna before. enjoy any of that starfish oh. gazing and shit he's gonna be doing on the boat or whatever. <laughs> like, single tear rolling down his cheek. Tornado watching or look at cloud or whatever. What do ecologists do? <laughs> cloud. They, he's probably out at that big trash island in the middle of the Pacific. Mm. It's hard to enjoy the islands. <laughs> you see what kind of creatures are developing? Garbage. What kind of ecology <laughs> is being created in this? <laughs> Ecosystems are being formed in this trash world. Yeah. Do you think eventually, if that thing keeps going, have you ever seen that movie Waterworld? Where they oh, have like, yeah. oh man, it. what? I have not seen it. Where uh, the guy got like fins, yeah. No. You, you just got it's great. What's, it's what's, great. Give me the, the give me the, the spark movie. Notes. It's like Mad uh, Max. The world on water. has yeah, it's Mad Max, oh, but instead of there being no water, there's <laughs> oh my god, yeah. It's a lot like that. Yeah, it's the <laughs> absolute opposite of the desert. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's just... the opposite of Mad Max, but it's still post-apocalyptic. And so everybody okay. has like instead of souped-up cars, they have boats that are pimped out. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of sick. And there's a helicopter, if I remember. Okay. Right. That... Yeah. That's, and uh, that's cool. Dennis Hopper like is like the bad guy, right? And he's right. on a big oil rig. And uh, and they fight for gasoline, and and how they do this is they they fill up all their jet skis, notoriously not fuel efficient vehicles, <laughs> and they chase down every boat in sight with hundreds of jet skis to try to get like a gallon of gas. <laughs> I'm like, I mean, that's what they're doing. They're all and they're you know they hunt for other little things like food and stuff. But what's funny about that movie is uh, Kevin Costner has. Um, his boat in the movie is like a work of art, dude. He's got little knobs and gears and like ropes everywhere. It's crazy looking. And he's got like a little garden inside and everything. Apparently, they spent like ten million dollars just getting the boat made for the 10 movie. Ten million on a movie boat. On a movie oh, yeah. boat, wow. and and That's like insane. it was handcrafted for the movie. And like you never really get like a full shot of it. You just kind of get like close ups of like super zoom ins of him like. Whoosh, spinning a little thing and like yeah. throwing this and rope pulls like they didn't have to build the whole fucking thing <laughs> and they were like yeah it was like t it was one of the most expensive movies ever made they spent a boatload of money on it and then it oh, fell. how old I is say. this movie Fun. uh maybe late 80s early 90s oh okay so that was that was like peak goofy cgi too so like it probably yeah. just was no that's good. the thing that was so expensive they filmed it out in the fucking ocean with no 100 percent. no they had they actually had like a giant cargo ship and stuff like this yeah. oh my kind of God. One, one of the like compounds they filmed at 
is like for sale right now. I can't find it anywhere. Like, it's, it's Dennis free, Hopper's aircraft carrier thing. For yeah. sale. It's, <laughs> free. it's like it's not even that expensive, but it's like way out in the middle of fucking nowhere in the ocean, and it's just like a a creep. It looks like a mini Alcatraz or something. It's for. <laughs> I saw oh, why Twitter, would you like, buy that? What would you want that for? Uh, bits. I don't know. So you could do some bits out there. So. <laughs> we'll yeah, do a little trolling out yeah. there. Water, water world bit or something. <laughs> we could do uh, our water own survivor show. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you yeah. Could do, like, like a Hunger Games. Out of the oh. Dude, I'd definitely die there. It looked really creepy and fucked up. <laughs> <But> <laughs> have you, did you know Survivor? They have their own fucking island now. They Survivor island? Bottom Island? I mean, that makes sense. I feel like that show's been going long yeah, enough, like, enough in money. the beginning they were like we'll do it out in the savannah and then they were like we'll do it over here and they like change locales yeah. and then well, season kind of 15 it's the same place every time it's the though. same place they just bought cool. an island out in the middle of the pacific and they're like yeah this is like where the show is going to be every year now and they, they bought an island, island. island yeah that's what yeah, i'm supposed to say it's that. Just, <laughs> a weird island. little mosque up there on the hill and everything yeah uh, <laughs> but uh <laughs> Well, yeah, I, I miss that. season like the early seasons of Survivor, where like the King, they, didn't, Joe they didn't really give him. Set? Yeah, nah, was it him? What? No, it's always yeah. been the same guy. He oh no, no, Fear Rogan's Factor. Fear yeah. Factor. Yeah. Oh, Fear yeah. Factor. Okay, that makes sense then. Yeah, Survivor is where they take people Fear and Factor. put them out in, Fear in the wilderness. They bugs. Fear Factor was wild. Down tubes and the other person to catch it. Yeah, it's just a weird shit. It's just. It was like, yeah, I, I would always watch him be like, you pussy. But like, yeah, I think like, do like, yeah, yeah, at any. At round any. one. It wasn't oh, no, enough 100%. money. That's the problem. When I was a kid, yeah. I was like, whoa, 30,000 to eat that? Like, That's yeah. Like, but but it, and now I'm like. like the challenge was insane. No. It was like thirty thousand, but you got to do like a sixty-second long handstand while your family's at gunpoint. Yeah. Like, is, is it still thirty thousand? Bull 000? testicles. No <laughs> yeah. The dare, the daredevil oh. aspects were a lot easier looking, but some of them still were like fucking, like swim underwater for ten minutes. And <laughs> I, Christ, I physically like, can't do that. What oh the my god! Is... I die. No. Well, we got divers by you. What are you like, scared? Oh. What are you, yeah. <laughs> are you scared like, of drowning? I, I've, a lot of those. I'm like, I could do that. I mean, I probably couldn't, but you know, I'd be like, oh. But then they're like, yeah, drink this horse cum. Like, drink this whole <laughs> fucking <laughs> glass of it. Like, what? What <laughs> it's fine. Oh, sign me up. Yeah. It's sign so me up for the horse gross. cum. And they always just have like, I do like. Oh my yeah, god, yeah. dude! I'm like my, my fucking models. Like you know when your mouth fills up with spit, salivating. No, your your mouth fills up with spit when you're like, to, you know, when you're about to puke. Like you oh, were just yeah. talking. Yeah. I just thought about the like, just fucking downing a huge because they never give them like a little vial. They're not like here's an no, appropriate yeah, amount of horse no, cum. It's like a pint. They're like we yeah. spent it's the past two weeks milking twenty five horses. Yeah, here's your chug jug. Beer, it's frothing out of the top. Yeah. Oh. Like, this shit better be fresh. Like, I better oh. hear a horse clopping behind the scenes because I don't want, like, drinking a horse cum is bad enough, but, like, this shit has old. been sitting room temp what, for what three it? days. Like, it has to go bad. Yeah, I don't want freezer. it separated like balsamic vinegar where it's like <laughs> old enough it's starting to fucking separate starting, on you. Starting to curdle at the bottom. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I feel like it almost be, I don't know if it'd be better or worse, though, like, if the horse cum was still warm. <laughs> like, would you want it to be the uh, the freshest I horse cum you be, can I have? I want it to be put in a fridge for like yeah. four hours. And maybe then like put it in the microwave. To a little bit, of, germs, yeah. <laughs> yeah. a little bit of ice in it. Maybe mix it up like a I smoothie want it to be or boiled, something. But yeah, and then I want some fucking. I wanted like a horse cum latte. I'd want to yeah. like, <laughs> oh, like some, heat, some espresso and yeah. stuff. That is a new sentence. Well, I didn't know I could like do it up. Latte. If I could do it up, yeah, I'd eat it in like a. Oh, if if you can do it up, then I would make like. A casserole or something yeah, with it well, in there. Yeah. Up, like, <laughs> horse cum like like, casserole. With, like, oh. Nah, I would put it in a dehydrator and turn it into crumbs, and then put it in a capsule. I'd put it in oh, tang. And swallow it. I put it yeah. in a glass yeah. of tang. Yeah, yeah that, that should cut it. Oh, tang like it, it gets so chewy. You know, if you put too much powder in it and everything. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Pooty tang. <laughs> No way! I do have a question. Uh, I forgot. Right, I wrote yeah, this yeah, down. No, I was doing no, my research. It. Okay. I was doing my research. How the uh, fuck did you? Me and Poop are in talks right now, trying to <laughs> stir up some money. Right. Okay. How the oh, fuck yeah. did you get a goddamn sports clip sponsorship for your podcast? 
I'm gonna be honest. I didn't even know we did that. <laughs> the fuck? <I> just... <laughs> Dude, at the Let's beginning go. of every episode, is like, do you want your hair looking clean and crisp? Seven dollars. You got yourself a sports. Like, no it's way. In. No fuck, it's not dude. like a pre-roll ad. Like I'm, you guys, it's I'm, put I'm, in there in the episode. I don't even know. know it, you uh, psycho. It's me. No, 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 no. no I, did, AI, no. I do. I do. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I've talked about our Raycon ads. No, I, I honestly have no idea. They just, uh, they just they uh, show Clips up. Sports is like an actual company. Like I didn't know that was a. I've seen I seen that one on TV. Speaking I, of, I've never even heard of Sports Clips. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if we have those in Canada. I don't no, know. You don't. Know. That's like no. that's where like Dude, that's like Bill Gates got damn like his haircut. Great <laughs> clips almost. Yeah. If uh, right, well, good for us. Yeah. I second, don't know. The second we get ads, speaking of visibly changing with more money, suits for everyone, fucking fancy ass backdrops, like silk curtain. Yeah, this I mean, be appropriate. I can I can hit you oh, up with so our, our management. Screen. I think they just give us all the ads. I don't I I don't think anybody has ever reached out Here, to any of us. Subway, say, do Subway yeah. Yeah, I've never heard of a sports clip fucking ad on one of these either. Are that's you sure awesome. Sports clip or not like Manscaped or something. I, yeah. I look. Yeah. It, that's what stuck out to me because everybody's got the same dog shit revolving yeah, same, door same, of like, like Hello Fresh, ads. Raycon. Yeah. Fuck yeah, all all these people I shouldn't I mean, be bad mouthing, but yeah. All these potential sponsors, I'm now throwing. Your, your sales pitch move is like I have to go to it, but you, you are a sports clip type person. You, the viewers <laughs> seem like the sports view, clip. Yeah. You are I personally. Sports clip. These, I, these I have to be touched by I talented have, ants. I, my girl knows what she's doing with my hair. Okay, we've been working on it together, but I'm sure you would go to a sports clip. I used to be like you. <laughs> Yeah. I, I went to what it is like why you i went to great are you shitting like on this man's this is a, no, no, this no, a no, passive no, aggressive no, ad this no, official no, sorry, company this affiliation yeah. no, this guy's I, I, a this guy's I, an ambassador I, from sports i did go to sports yeah. once and they gave me a hot neck towel and i went wow okay great great clips no more yeah. <laughs> and then i started making more than minimum wage so i was like okay. <laughs> yeah, let me... yeah. But I'm for joking. the for the viewers yeah. though, you should definitely yeah. go to Sports Clips yeah, and yeah. use code, uh, code Goons. 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 Yeah, use code Goons, Goons. on Sports and Clips and they'll bring you a hot towel or whatever. Yeah. 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 They'll do don't something. I don't fucking know, like bro. Yeah, it's not yeah. a little tortilla. <laughs> they don't even have a warmer. They just lay it out on the sidewalk. <laughs> Let it warm up. Just a little bit of hot spit on it and rub it on your neck. <laughs> <laughs> they give you an Indian burn on the back of your neck. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get rid of all that hair back yeah, A little bit of, little bit of <laughs> raw skin to start your hair. Oh, touchdown! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, they, they always uh, throw footballs at your head. Yeah, but send us, yeah, send us your management yeah, information. I'll send, I'll send you, because we, I'll send your, we're management. in talks with two guys, and they're fucking, they Damn, suck so far. <laughs> <laughs> not only burn his bridges but ours too yeah <laughs> well, it, when these guys start away. doing the one thing we contacted them for that's when i'll stop bitching how about that yeah. <laughs> you, the first time i was like you think it's been a little long you're like poob you don't understand the systems at play here like they're going through these like new processes like it takes no, these time. guys are fucking lazy yeah, dude. Yeah. These guys are fucking it's, lazy. Been, it's been like one more week and you're like yeah, i'm gonna fucking get them. <laughs> I'm done. no because like I, I expect like three days between an email probably if you're like yeah. busy or whatever yeah. and the, these people just radio silence for like two weeks i was like just oh, tell yeah, us like that. companies have said no like just yeah. please yeah. tell us that well, we got rejected i think it yeah. always is the like at the beginning is the longest time to find yeah people. i At have that's what all my fucking when i get pitched from like code fucking <laughs> yellow or whatever they're like it's gonna take like multiple months for us to find you that first ad i'm like well, then fuck off Go. yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's weird because like i always just I like haven't got a single ad since i talked to them so it's like maybe i should have blog you yeah. got a big enough channel where you you probably get these emails no. all the time where people are just like they have the contract like there and they're yeah. just like yeah. just sign wow. it dude yeah. the money yeah. will be in your account just sign yeah. on the line oh. and have you ever done this where you start signing shit because you're like hey you know, fuck it. Yeah. the money look at the money and then you actually have to make the ad and you're like oh fuck it. There's, God damn it there's been a so couple anyways, times guys, go to sports clips yeah, yeah. no there's uh i i learned my lesson with a gun on, on the other side of the mic <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I, I took I took an ad for this. I I regret it every fucking day. And once it hit a year, because I was one on the contract, I just nuked the video from my channel. This 
I actually like it was like early on when I first quit my job. I used to work for an editor named Four Zero Seven. He's like an OG. He used to play with like Vanos Gaming. I don't even know those those guys, but um, I used to be his editor, and I, I quit that and started my own channel and was like, you know, fuck that editing thing. I can do this, and it was like one of the first ads I took. It was this awful, awful pay to win little Japanese wow. anime game. Literally nothing it was in English. I just saw the contract, saw that they were actually offering me real human dollars to go Not to promote this dollars? dog shit. And I was like, let's go. I'll take it. I need money. And I did it. And I just, I, I, I didn't try to play the game until I already signed the contract and like was going to get some of their, their B-roll footage. None of it was in English. I had no idea what was happening. There's just like moaning, bouncy, titty, titty anime girl loading screens. Like I don't that even know what the gameplay awesome. was. Yeah, the gameplay was like it was like weird it fighting, was... and then it would just turn into like a card game. It was just it made oh. no fucking sense. I had no idea what was happening, and I just I lived with shame for like a year, yeah. knowing that that was on my channel. And I just, I felt horrible. Your every viewers day. are like, oh, if you say it's yeah. fun, I guess they'll download it. It was absolutely just like mining bitcoins on their phone. Yeah. Yeah. Just, 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 oh, 100% exploiting my hands them. now. Yeah, yeah. That's too awesome. yeah. yeah no, I, I learned too early on to, uh, to be a little more careful with sponsors. But I'll, I still take like six to seven sponsors a month. I I am. I am oh absolutely. God, I am man. absolutely I a seller. New contract, like yeah. I do, like one every three months, and when I sign it, I'm like, oh great, now I have an extra day of ad reading and <laughs> shit and stuff to do. Fuck. See, I've, I've had this like internal anxiety since I started YouTube that like my career is just gonna like go like the blue haired Twitter people are gonna find like a clip of me making fun of a Mexican in 2015 and like just nuke my channel. So I've just I've always had that fear in the back of my mind. So I'm just like. I got to make like as much money as possible, a short span and just get the fuck off this platform and yeah. live in a forest. Honestly, like I probably, that's probably going to happen to me probably pretty soon. <laughs> but so far my audience is really dope because they'll just like find something that's old and they'll send it to me in a DM be like, Hey dude, three minutes, 43 seconds into this. Might want to get rid of this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just, just looking out. And I'm like, yeah. that is I can't uh, wait. You, you, sh you shouldn't do that. that. Like, I shouldn't be saying that, but thanks for looking out. Like, yeah. times have changed. You know, yeah. I'm a different person now. There's been yeah. some personal growth. <laughs> and the pitchfork scared the fucking lights out of me. So, yeah, I'm going to all remove that video a little bit. But uh, you and Brian I mean, are going to take me down with you when you go. <laughs> no, no. We'll just, we'll rebrand as like. <laughs> The Puberton show. Oh, God, no. Yeah. Yeah. My name on everything right before it goes to hell. Right before it gets headlines. Right. I'm going to be like, the name of the show is The Poop Show. I'm just going to DM you and be like, hey, this show's going on poop. fucking CNN tomorrow. And like, you want a big promotion, Poop buddy? Show. Yeah. 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 President and CEO of Puberton yeah. Show. Yeah. Suddenly everything's rebranded. <laughs> no, I, I find that as long as you're like made audience is like actual human beings who have critical thinking skills and aren't just like, you know, as long as you're made blind, audience is blind, racist. yeah. <laughs> I mean, as long as they're not like blind Twitter mob, then yeah, you're yeah. you're chilling. Like, I mean, they're real. Like, I, I've I've gotten in trouble from Minecraft stands before. I mean, I I one of my best friends. I've I've been playing games with him since he was like 15 and I was 18, and I I jokingly tweeted out that I'm you know number one groomer on YouTube. Jeez. And uh, they they didn't like that. They got really upset. So they started going back to old tweets and all this old shit and like trying to find anything they could. They were just, you know, scratching and was, for anything. And it was squeaky clean, wasn't it? I, was, I mean, uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't it wasn't too bad. <laughs> they uh, they they didn't find anything that I was like, even I was like, oh, God, like that's fucking bad. It was yeah. all this shit that you could tell they were like <laughs> reaching to find anything. Yeah. And it was just like, yeah, like my main audience was just like, yeah. Bro, you said some fucking whack shit five years ago and you didn't know what was going on. I bet everyone has. So it's like it was just a bad take is all. <laughs> yeah, it's just yeah, yeah, it's just <laughs> like as long as you're made on three season. years of bad takes. So yeah. what? <laughs> Like a, a more aggressive. <laughs> well, so yeah, I finally tweeted out the yes. N word six times a week. Yeah. I don't. I don't yeah. see the problem, guys. I you, was... you could say that in 2018. It was yeah, what's, <laughs> what's a couple of hate five. crimes? Come on, guys. Let's just laugh it off and move on. If Mark Wahlberg you has get, a hate yeah, crime, I can have one too. Mark Wahlberg. Okay, we would have to. We'd have to entirely reinvent ourselves, look wise. Uh, <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, that was God. Crime. You, you know what's funny is Bizzle has uh Bizzle's a friend of ours, Blarg. Oh, he, has he has so much he, dirt. He has no he has no hate in his body, but you get him talking about Mark Wahlberg. All of a sudden, the fire <laughs> lights up behind up. his eyes. Yeah. He's like that fucking piece of shit. He yeah, fucking fucking <laughs> he's like super angry about Mark Wahlberg. Just read, was, you paid about all the fucking shit yeah. he's done. Yeah. yeah, he's like, oh, this is this is good. You go to his wiki page. The first thing at the top of his it doesn't even say anything about him being an actor or whatever. It's just like he's a uh, he is hate crimes. Here's his hate crimes right at the top. Yeah, I hate that and baby Anastasia. That's the two things that. Who the really... fuck is baby Anastasia? No, dude, he's talking about thing? using, most beautiful, using most Anastasia beautiful baby babies. in all the lands. <laughs> the, most, the most gorgeous baby. <laughs> I hate that stuff. baby. That should have been me. That's what I'm talking about. Baby of the year before. I was like, shit, come on. Baby, uh, yeah, no, goes off. Brains. Now, apparently, they didn't like. Use they didn't think they had pain or something. Is they didn't it feel anesthesia? Pain. Oh yeah, no, yeah. They used, oh yeah, they used to yeah, just yeah. go to town on on babies with like operations and shit because they wouldn't yeah. remember it. Yeah, I, I mean, like, like, oh yeah, game. babies won't feel this. Is that like? I mean, they'll feel it, but like, they're not like uh, miniature they people. Scree- <laughs> they scream. <laughs> they scream. Yeah. Yeah. Humans are born without nerves it. and shit. We can just scapple this baby mm-hmm. open. You it know should what? be fine. Bro, I I have had a horrible experience. I I feel like I saw it in a title somewhere on on the your podcast that you guys have have beef with dentists. I don't know if, what the lore yeah. was with that, but I I yeah, got beef teeth. with all dentists. I went yeah. to so I had to get four of my wisdom teeth removed. Uh, Same. And, and I was this was only like a couple of years back, like right before the pandemic, and. I I learned afterwards. My my doctor didn't tell me that you're you most of the time they put you asleep. When they're getting yeah, they didn't for me either they didn't for yeah. you. No, it's, they didn't it, put me asleep, and they had to get four. For that. And, you have to pay for it. I didn't oh. know. I it would. It should be free. Like I'm in Canada, so most of that stuff is like should just be free, and they just do it. But he didn't even tell me it was an option. He just said, "Yeah, I'm just gonna inject your gums. It shouldn't be that bad. I'm just gonna pull your wisdom teeth." I'm like, "Yeah, whatever. Okay." It doesn't, he made it sound like it was just gonna be a fun little little goofy little time. It's gonna be ten minutes in and out. This dude takes a bone saw. And he starts cutting into the bottom of my gums, like in my mouth, cutting in. And he's like, oh, it looks like I can't pull out your, your tooth like this. It's it's growing sideways. I'll have to cut your tooth in half. So he sawed my tooth in half all <laughs> while I'm awake and just like hearing the sounds of bone just being and you can smell shattered it too. You can half. smell your fucking yeah. bone getting sawed yeah. up too. It's nasty. And so he gets these little... What like, did he little, saw it with? He had like this little grinder, like this little angle grinder, and he's just going to town yeah. and it, it's okay, just spinning like, and it's shooting the only tooth, thing I oh god it's tooth shooting bits, yeah. tooth bits into my mouth and it's like it felt like a grenade when went I, off like, in there. Crawl like when I'm I have an angle grinder and if I grind stuff like sometimes like the wheel just like yeah, like it, yeah, it drags no, right away. My gums. Like, what if he just mm. oh, yeah, no. into your fucking head? Scared my <laughs> touch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he's that's it, it gets so much worse. So he's he had these little pliers, I don't know what the fuck, uh, dentistry pliers, and he's trying to pull. He got the one half out, no problem. The other half was it was really in there, and he's pulling it and he couldn't get it. And he has a nurse come in, sorry, two nurses come in. One holds Fuck, the top of my up, head bro. and one <laughs> holds my chin and he is grabbing my tooth. He puts his leg on the fucking table Jesus. that I'm laying on and just starts like full ripping on this. And I can hear my tooth just crunching under the sound of this, like the pliers. And he finally rips it out, loses it immediately because it was like covered in blood <laughs> at this point. I'm swallowing like a gallon of blood a second. Sliding and he across pulls the it out finally. And he's like, he's looking all over for the tooth and he couldn't find it. And it is on my forehead, uh-huh. dripping blood slowly down. And I'm just sitting there like, I can't talk, obviously, because yeah. there's a pool of blood and the nurses are frantically looking for my tooth. And it's just <laughs> half of my my uh, wisdom tooth is just right here, just uh-huh. on my head. It was, oh my God, he got shot in the forehead. It was, yeah, dude, it was brutal. Sad, dude. Ever, ever <laughs> since then, I've wanted to just, I've wanted to just, kill every dentist just for being a dentist and their profession pisses me off yeah Yeah, that was uh uh, i I don't like tooth related injury or anything like that that's fucking yeah i don't know that whole story had me on edge i didn't i really didn't like the part where the dentist like he was up up no straight up like that yeah like that that exact motion face is right here yeah no yeah i just got a face of like cock and balls while he's ripping my (laughs) tooth (laughs) 
<laughs> what if you stop midway? He's like, all right, I, it's not out yet. It's not ready. We're gonna have to do this another yeah, time. Cut like, it. Yeah. 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 Freddie Wong's episode, he was talking about the whole dentist yeah. thing with like he was like, wisdom teeth are a, a scam to get removed. Well, and I don't. Know I'm if taking I fully his. Believe that, but I don't either. But I'm taking his medical advice, and that. I'm not getting mine. Yeah, exactly. is, he, is he a medical? Between his story and yours, he's not trained. No, he's don't even. <laughs> but he's made. He made some damn good videos. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah, he's, he's, got, he's got that he's a good for him. I've seen teeth before, so you know, okay. he teeth. can do a good muzzle yeah. flash for a gun. Yeah, and, all right. And After Effects. That's pretty Ooh. sick. Right. Can okay. your dentist do that? No, he he just not as talented pain. then as Freddie Wong, and I would rather no. listen to talent than <laughs> yeah, than no, some 100%. guy that pulls teeth out with pliers for a living. That doesn't sound yeah, like a smart guy. Yeah, with his leg up. Yeah, no, I agree. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. know what? They're they're a scam. I think they said they were pushing my teeth together and going to make them all fucking look like a you know like a pug's teeth where they're all just jacked yeah. up. He said that's what mine would look like. But honestly, I think I'd rather have had that than than this the situation the I, I endured. Yeah, the trauma. Every time uh, mine, gonna... mine started to come up and it broke through the gum and then it stopped. So okay. I just have like my gums just cave in and then there's a tooth down here. And I'm like, the dentist looked at it. He's like, that thing better speed up or else that's going to be a cavity in no time. There is yeah. no way you can brush into that. <laughs> and so like every night I'm just like, uh, uh, like way back <laughs> in the back of my throat just like fingering it with the toothbrush trying to get all down in. there's no way you can clean it it's like a pit with a tooth like way down in oh. and uh but freddie wong told me it wasn't necessary and he said yeah that's good don't don't you dare get that removed do you listen yeah. to take freddie a swig wong. of listerine you're good yeah one small you'll, swig you'll, will do you right. and he kept uh, saying you'll lose your wisdom if it's gone it, yeah. it, it, it holds secrets <laughs> that i mean ancient it's an Eastern Asian. Medicine, yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the gaping hole in, in my gums is honestly not favorable. So I, I don't think you're missing too much by having them. There's like, I can feel you where my wisdom is. I, I could probably put a skittle in it. Like the one here, the one that was like really bad that he like really went to town on. I could probably fit. I could probably put you a could, coin in there. You could go I could through use it as TSA. like a coin purse. You could go through TSA with like two skittles in your oh, mouth. Yeah. They never even know. Or like, yeah, I could put like straight black card yeah, in there. Look at the x ray in there. You don't even need to hide those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, is, later. it is not ideal. Not an ideal situation. Don't go to the dentist ever. That's that's the if if you leave this podcast this game. with one bit of knowledge, if I can a lot of one second guess. Yeah, this is yeah. two in a row. This, two yeah. guests don't recommend. Go, Next, we're gonna this get some bluff. old timey like reenactor with wooden teeth and we're gonna be like what do you think about dentistry and he's like that goddamn scam <laughs> i don't know like some homeless guy or something that's been swindled by a dentist i'm trying to think of. and then after that we'll get a dentist on and he'll be like what the fuck are you gonna do? <laughs> no, no, no. we're gonna have a bunch of unqualified yeah, people yeah, yeah. and have them debate a dentist we give no, him like no time yeah. <laughs> take to strictly unqualified human beings to talk about a profession yeah, that's what, that's what we like to I do. Because that's kind of like at least the funny thing. Like most people that they get upset about podcasts for spreading misinformation. It's always like political stuff or like, yeah. you know, crap like that. But I just want to be a podcast dedicated to like getting people away from dentistry. <laughs> <laughs> we have like all these specialists, fake specialists that are just like, no, nah, they'll when you're under, they molest you every time. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they, this is how they scam you out of you know time, money, everything. Actually, wasn't that a I wasn't that a story recently real. where uh, a dentist every time they put a patient to sleep, he just like like gently put his dick in their mouth and then oh, went and he was a good ass off surgeon, something. dude. He was perfect. Oh, I'm, pretty sure that, I'm pretty sure I, that was I just a thing that happened. A, now, there was a, also a surgeon in, I think, Spain that would put his uh, name when on women, his... No, when yeah. women were getting cesareans, he would go in front of the big curtain. So in case they wake <laughs> up, they can't see themselves laid up. He'd go on the other side of it and put his cock in their mouth. Oh, oh my God. God. But while they're laid up. And they had to, like, they everybody knew about it. It was like a Weinstein thing where everybody's just like, you can see him putting his cock in her mouth. But, like, <laughs> they, I guess they needed evidence and so they rigged up an or with cameras they went and did a cesarean and he did it and they caught him and i'm like 
you sent that woman yeah. to the slaughter to like <laughs> yeah. on the hardest yeah. day of her life, yeah, getting cut open, fuck? giving birth, and you sent him in to do the. You're worse than he is yeah, almost. What? Like you set it up. Wow. You set up a cock and mouth sting operation while a lady's getting <laughs> cut open. Like that's fucking that's horrible. It's, he it's just almost never worse. Find him another because he, he doesn't have walls. a conscience, so he's just pure evil. But you're like, yeah, he, I don't know. You're masquerading well, as I trying to be a good guy. Just I still think he's worse in this scenario. No, he's yeah. worse. He's definitely he's worse. But, but they're not worse, great. But they, they're good people acting like that was a there wasn't another fucking way to do that yeah. they could have just well, had yeah, like they could have had her fake go to sleep and then when she starts getting cut up she just plays to sleep and then when <laughs> yeah. they have to do it she opens up her mouth there's a camera in her mouth yeah <laughs> drop that cock right now was, uh, you. Uh, <laughs> i watched a uh, a documentary about a guy who uh, he was a doctor who did like um it was the one in indiana uh it might have been that was it the dude that was using his own semen for donor yeah. semen yeah, yeah so yeah, like yeah like we actually won't tolerate that that uh story on this podcast we kind of fiercely defend indiana whenever it's slander <laughs> yeah, no matter no <laughs> yeah. it's okay i think i think by the doctor's side is what Pooh told me <laughs> yeah. behind the scenes he's like i will not um, take any indiana, indiana slander he was a great man. I haven't seen that, but I've heard about it. Yeah, yeah. So like this dude would stuff. like pretend that he, he got the, the semen of like these, these donors who like don't have any health conditions. Don't have, you know, they're, they're perfect donors. They're healthy people have the, you know, whatever eye color, hair color that these women want. Six, five. And he, yeah. he would just, just swap it out and put his own like, nasty curdled semen in them and he was just what, what did he look like? like was he he's yeah. not not a handsome man and he had like uh, thyroid issues he was like balding he was like this overweight yeah. just goofy looking dude and yeah he just said nope this <laughs> is mine mustache, going in there brown yeah. eyes brown hair uh, <laughs> that's uh, that sucks because like usually when people like you would hope people that have egos like that would also like just have like the body to, the look yeah, to he's yeah. like a up, doctor right? doom type no he's more like yeah. just like a fat bastard those yeah like, no yeah he's just yeah. like, goofy like just I, wanna, I always wanted to have kids but nobody would fuck me so i'm gonna make a fucking <laughs> yeah that was the vibe 100 percent. yeah yeah they like yeah. i forget i forget what the number was but they had like in the documentary watch they found like 60 something and like uh, I remember some of them I wouldn't want to know. I wouldn't want to know no, at like, that point. Some of them like had met or like you would know of day one they come out all fucking right? weird. And they yeah. didn't know they're related. Yeah, they something. like because it was like a small town, so like half of yeah. them like knew each other and were like like you know, friends to each other around the community. Whole generation and then, of fucking, yeah, and then, uh, Oh, that was another thing is people. like <laughs> some of them were apparently too scared to find out any other any information because they were scared that they'd find out like they fucked their brother or something. Like they just had no idea. So like they just like but ignorance is bliss. Like when they got called about it and told about the whole situation, they just Call hung up. And they're like, "Have you fucked any ugly people?" <laughs> oh my god! You any might ugly have people a with <laughs> thyroid issues that yeah. might be your brother? You fucked any bald ugly people? I would. Oh, yeah. I would just move. Shit. I would pick up and move. I wouldn't want to know who. I would just get out. No, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I would I say, wonder let's why. Let's get out of this shitty my state. My mom's my say. sister. <laughs> <laughs> wonder why your kid has an extra thumb, and then just get out of that town. <laughs> Yeah, that's oh, that'd uh, be awesome. Isn't that that'd like be the best finger to have an extra. Of. <laughs> that actually would. I guess, yeah, I guess if you're gonna me, pick yeah, one, yeah. if I had to pick one, yeah. This right. He's making a genetically superior. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate yeah. gamer. Or thumbs. Isn't that like unsettling when you're like hearing about some horrible crime that happened and it's like it's your town? Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> Yeah, was the first time yeah. I was reading about Ted Bundy, and they, they're like, and then he took the hairspray bottle and inserted it into her pussy, and then they were like, this is on uh, Chapel Street, Tallahassee, Florida. I was like, holy shit, mm -hmm. this is like <laughs> here? That was like yeah. the last place he did that at before he got caught by the cops, yeah. like the next day. And I, I brought it up at work. I was like, because I used to work at these apartment buildings. I was like, dude, I, I didn't realize fucking Ted Bundy, like he was doing shit here. And one of the guys that lived at the apartment building was like some um i don't know like yeah uh, he he and ran like friend. he was like old school hippie old guy yeah. that lived at the but he was like a professor but like a mm -hmm. temp 
Uh-huh. You know, he was just one of those guys in the academic world that never leaves it, but never succeeds at anything. So he was just kind of like a bum at the campus. And they're like, we'll give you fucking whatever job. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And he was like, I said, Ted Bundy, he's like, oh, I remember those times, man, scary <laughs> times. I was like, you were here. He's like, yeah. I was teaching here. He's like, Ted Bundy. And he just like went off on this insanely personal story about how he's just like, I fucking, I knew this person, man. This was the sorority. The house was right here that he broke into. He's like pointing out all the buildings. He was like, a, uh, way. you ever go to like New Orleans and they have like guides and shit? They're like, this is where yeah. the slaves were. Yeah. Yeah. Like He was giving me a full tour <laughs> of like Ted Bundy stomping grounds. <laughs> I, mean, I, fucking, I took those Bundy. work orders, folded them fuckers in half and put them in my back pocket. And I was like, I'm talking to this guy for a little bit. <laughs> that was the last interesting conversation I had with him. And he called me three times and had me go pick him up uh, his medicine from the Walgreens. <laughs> I need my I Ted like, Bundy Any medicine. Cool stories happening because yeah. you're Never running out of Walgreens time. <laughs> Never brought up Bundy again. I stopped yeah. picking up his medicine. Yeah. <laughs> he fucking... He died. He, he, died, he died right after that. <laughs> yeah. You don't get those blood thinners because you won't open up about all the crazy shit that happened here. <laughs> yeah. But he did oh, keep on uh, bringing up free time. love and how they need to bring that back. That okay. was like the fuck is it, free you love? T- it was he was like old know. world hippie, right? Where he's just like, yeah. oh, like free love, like like no strings attached. You can just have sex with anybody. Yeah. He's okay. like, yeah, people, women are too closed up nowadays. They won't have, a, they won't have sex with me as much. And I'm like, yeah. you you live at the university. It's probably because you're trying to fuck like 18 year old girls yeah. and you're 68. Like you are <laughs> so, they can do so much better. He wears silk suits and that's it. Like he hasn't had new clothes oh. since like the late 70s. No underwear. His dick and balls oh, were always no. oh. right on the other oh. side of those silk pants. Just like <laughs> just swishing, swinging, like a, dude. Like a pendulum at all times. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that stink? is awful. He smelled like an old person. Yeah, old, <laughs> old hippie probably smells yeah. bad. I feel like old you know, people he's... all smell the same. Like, I feel like it doesn't matter if it's like a poverty stricken old person or like the queen. I feel like they all just smell the same. No, the queen flesh smells good. Flesh, dude. No, they got like death coming. You smell death. Yeah. Yeah. You can smell the organ I failure. I didn't know that was a real <laughs> thing. I uh, My grandfather, when he was going, he was in hospice. You entered that room. It was like. Yeah, you, you smell like entropy happening in front of you. Yeah. That shit's on the <laughs> clock. Yeah, he ain't walking out of this room, dude. I can smell it. From down the hallway, I can smell it. He's not going to magically hop up. It doesn't matter how good of a hospice worker that is. Yeah. <laughs> like he's the fucking, yeah. he's the grandpa from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory yeah. or whatever. Yeah. He's just dancing and shit. Yeah. 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 He danced not his not last that, dance. Like, that was a great man, but that motherfucker I knew in that moment, I took one whiff in that hallway and I was like, God damn, he's not, this is it. That's all I had my prep. My prep That's, before I went in there. No, he had fake so died funny. like seven times throughout my childhood. <laughs> oh so I'd my already, God. I had gotten my grieving out of the way. He kept having like his heart stop and they kept like adding new boxes under his skin over his heart with like oh. batteries and shit. And I was like, I never believed he would die. Million dollar man. Here. <laughs> he was, they kept like rebuilding his defibrillator yeah, and shit. He, he had like generation one defibrillator was huge. Yeah. Thing. It didn't matter diner. what shirt he wore. It was like this huge cube coming <laughs> off his chest. Yeah. Like he, probably, Iron Man. he could have sold his grandpa these, like, for scraps. Yeah. Where like half his body yeah, wouldn't work. Oh, copper wire. Yeah, copper parts and shit. All this are copper wires. There's got to be like fifty dollars in there. Yeah. <laughs> like every two years, I would have that scare where they were like, "He's gone. It's it's this is the real time. You need to start grieving." And then I'd go in there, and they would be soldering and welding over his body, and then he would pop back up. Uh, yeah, I don't sound like no more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sound like a mechanic in. shop in there. Yeah. Just... yeah, they were in there going, ring, ring, ring. like a pit like, uh, crew, and they fucking, <laughs> and they jumpstart him like Frankenstein. But in that hallway, I knew there was no amount of welding that could bring him back. <laughs> I was like, this guy's dead man walking. It's so <laughs> funny. It's so somebody funny. has a solder kit somewhere. I don't think Gramps is going to be walking out of this one. You guys give, make him not stink no more. <laughs> yeah. what a funny, they just hang a fucking air freshener over his nose. Yeah. Like, <laughs> give him a fucking air freshener. And, uh, and somebody, in, somebody yeah. install one of those. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, just oh, let the flies away and give him fucking That's insane. Tree. Uh, yeah, my, I miss my gramps, though. 
my uh my grandpa was uh he was i don't know he i don't remember too much of him because he i think when i was i want to say like six or seven uh three guys broke into his house with with shotguns and like he had he had, good. yeah he had farmland yeah in canada uh Thanks. it's actually like one of the only times that has like happened in our city so it's like pretty wild that it happened to him but uh he uh yeah people broke in with with shotguns and their intent wasn't to wasn't to kill him obviously they just wanted to scare him and like you know take as much as they could he had like a farmhouse so there's nobody around no neighbors or anything and he grabbed a table and just started going to town and hitting them with this table and one of them just turned the shotgun around and just butt end right to the head and uh luckily like scared him off enough with the table where they, they fucked off after that and didn't end up taking anything but he was like severely brain damaged Jeez. for like my whole childhood so i just had no idea like he'd just go off on like tangents of just like talking about the world war like two things I used he wasn't, he wasn't in world war ii not even oh, around man. world war ii and would talk about world war ii like he was like it was dude it was weird like he just probably like, the night that they broke in he was probably watching save and private ryan yeah, yeah, and just, that like, was really his new into life. it he's just looking for the military discount at like yeah. chick-fil-a like why did yeah. he what kind of table like a big dining was, room table dude, like, like a pretty yeah. sizable oak like coffee table like it <laughs> wasn't crazy. small but it was it was enough for him to wield that just, is just like very hell? brave of him, but brawny. also like, I mean, it was stupid as fuck. Yeah, like a kinda, shotgun versus yeah, table like what do you? you yeah. Everything's insured. Like just yeah, yeah go ahead, go. Is your, take is your grandpa the fucking Iron Sheik? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what, what, what he thought. I think he was just stubborn. He was also yeah. He was he was apparently just like so. There's any anyone in your in your comment section that is uh, Arab will understand. Arab men, especially older generations. Sounds they racist are, when you say they, it for some reason. I know, <laughs> I know. dude. I, just don't he look at me. Car, just, he has the car. Yeah. Yeah. I, after this episode's <laughs> over, I want to see your fucking birth family. certificate. Yeah. I don't, I don't you believe like you're me. able to sling the word like that with the way you look, dude. <laughs> but uh, they're just like the most like thick skulled stubborn motherfuckers that are just like oh, i'm right i'm right i don't need <laughs> yeah maybe it's a little thicker would have saved them there. Yeah. <laughs> but uh he just like he was so stubborn about shit so he owned grocery stores like i said earlier and he wanted to he wanted to be security because people kept breaking in and he got yeah, himself a table by the door. He <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> just uh, oak tables all over the grocery store. He was on deck. No, but he, he, he set up uh, in case he set of up, emergency <laughs> break glass. Yeah, a big table, table on yeah. a fucking oak table. No, he, he set up a TV, a chair, oh, and like this is when TVs were like, like still relatively speaking, like pretty new, like portable TVs anyway. So he got one. He was all excited, spent money on it and was like, I want to be security. I don't want to pay for security. I'll do a better job of security than anyone else. And lo, lo and behold, not a good security guard. Fell asleep almost immediately. Woke up. <laughs> TV was gone. Everything <laughs> was gone. They look at the oh. security cameras. People walked right in. <laughs> shut the TV off. Unplugged it. Took the remote on the table next to him. Oh and just my. fucked that right was, off. That was rock bottom for him. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. He, <laughs> just took everything right under him. They went, they went back got a blanket for him. Yeah. <laughs> Warmed up some milk for him a little thing. Yeah, you know, he took my underwear. <laughs> yeah, yeah they, they like pick up his legs and they like take his chair and everything. He just left <laughs> on the floor. What's a, a completely barren building. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, my uh, my dad still has the tape somewhere in our house. He showed me showed it to me when I was a kid. But yeah, you just oh, see these oh, these yeah. thieves break right in. They just That's jiggled hilarious. the lock until it opened and went ahead and grabbed everything. <laughs> Wait, was he within eyesight of the door they were breaking into? Oh, yeah. That's yeah, great. And they just beer. like, they go up to the thing. They're like, there's a guy. <laughs> yeah. I think a guy he's sleeping. Right Keep picking the he's door. Either, I'll tell you yeah. if he wakes up. <laughs> he's either sleeping or dead. We got he's a 50 50 shot. motherfucker yeah. I've ever seen. <laughs> sleeping right next to a TV. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah it was uh, it was fucking. <laughs> the first time my dad told me, I was fucking crying. And then he finally found the video. He was like, I found it. I found it. Oh, and he just showed me. And it's like, this is insane that like this is oh. just a thing that happened 
Yeah, that was uh, the grocery stores were wild. My dad, he doesn't, he's well out of that industry now, but uh, he used to make me work there as a kid and give me like a toonie at the end of the day, like $2. Ooh. So I was just basically, he's just using like child labor, just sweatshop yeah, yeah. labor there. And uh, business shit. wait, not even in USD? Like, where, where were you born? $2 Canadian, Canada. bro. Toonie. Yeah, I was born in Canada. Oh, a toonie. Okay, I yeah, thought you toonie. meant like a Tunisian, like. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> I was like, no, no, like Tunisian currency? No, okay. I, was born, I was born in Canada. Dad was born in Lebanon. Yeah, we, but, um, okay. So I used to Toronto I used to, getting paid in Tunisian currency. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> That's a fucking cheapskate. Yeah. Get my shit with that here. I was uh, I used to I used to do bagging, and and I, I'd be bagging there. And my dad, one of my duties was to kind of keep an eye out to see if like people were very obviously shoplifting because like it wasn't his last grocery store was in like a not super high end area, um, so like it was a super common thing that happened. And Jane Finch. The the. Uh, <laughs> We, we, we got the uh, uh no. <laughs> the cashier that, that don't ever say something again you <laughs> no, I, was, I was just confused <laughs> I, was cadence, Brian. He was <laughs> I was just confused no we're good we're good but uh Brian. the guy the guy what? that did the the till he was uh he like he was like mma fighter wasn't successful at all but he, he you know he could beat the fuck out of somebody so my my job half of it was bagging the other half was be like his name was paul I'd be like oh, paul, Dad, please, that guy's stealing money. that kind of bagging <laughs> no bagging like throwing shit sorry canadian accent I know, bagging I was like putting, making a joke sorry shit i won't in a make bag. one again either don't ever <laughs> fucking do it again <laughs> you understand of his accent. quiet while i'm talking <laughs> uh, but i watched one dude straight up could see i don't know maybe this guy just either he was hosting a barbecue or just fucking loves sausages but i could literally see perfect outlines of case sausages all down his jacket like so many cases of sausages don't know why he needed them but i was like paul that guy 100 percent stealing and i t- he ran told my dad and my dad was like okay let's try to stop him before he gets too far and Paul was like, this is my fucking moment. I've been literally training Ugh. UFC for this. And this dude, he he picked up that we caught him. And so he started running out of the building. Oh, and he's shit. holding his jacket tight. He gave it away. Was it the two guys? <laughs> yeah. One guy is taking his apron and ma- yeah. wrapping it on his fucking <laughs> fist. <laughs> Just breaking a bottle over the thing. <laughs> so he starts, he starts jogging. He's holding his jacket together. And Paul sprints out there jump kick shoe probably landed top of the spine kicks this guy and it looked like a bomb vest went off of sausage and he flew forward and <laughs> just <laughs> cases of sausage oh, just like, uh, just just like he's holding him like this like there's intestines <laughs> sausage everywhere and like half of the packages oh. broke so there's just like lone sausages oh. rolling across the pavement it was just the funniest he fucking thing. The heart exploded. Yeah. <laughs> His guts came out. He's dying. Call Somebody the call the ambulance. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, we we called the police, and turns out the guy had hepatitis and some other fun stuff. So oh. it's, it's good that he good. It's good that he did sausage and get out of here. <laughs> yeah, just pick the sausages up and fuck off. Hepatitis. <laughs> yeah, but just the, the blood. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 it is a core memory of mine to just see that sausage just fucking. Oh. Fly awesome. everywhere, Slow, yeah. like shrapnel. It was just, it was, it was, a, it was a key moment in my life. I, I've built my character up around that moment, so it was a good time. Boy, yeah, yeah. Grocery stores were the, wild. It would have been cooler if you were the guy that kicked him, but uh, no, bro. I was like eight. I probably would have kicked him. He would have just turned around, like what the fuck just ran into me? Like a fly must have just. I was this little <laughs> tiny scrawny little kid. Yeah, yeah. Grocery stores were a good time. They yeah, were uh, put the fucking sausage on the back of his jacket for padding from kicks and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe a little bit. I, uh, got hit from the back and he fell on all of it and exploded <laughs> meat out everywhere. Yeah. Meat and blood. Yeah. It's like a meat pancake on the yeah. bottom. Of. Yeah. <laughs> Just lay really still for a second, because right? people yeah. when they see that much gore, they're like, I oh think people God. look and go like, oh, he's dead, and they turn because it's yeah. like mentally yeah. traumatic. You lay there yeah. for yeah. a second and then you get up and run. For they for they turn back. <laughs> Go front flip to your feet and run off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What did I do if I was that guy? I thought he blew up. He's yeah. running. What the hell? Yeah. He just did a backflip. Yeah. 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 What the fuck? Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> Anyways, yeah, we're at, we're at two hours now. Now we're yeah. ending All right, it. Now we, we doubled it. it. Sure, yeah, we doubled yeah, it. We doubled yeah, it. We did yeah, do it. I won't make it to the airport in time now, but I'm glad we got one. No, it's okay. Really? Dang. No, you're all right. It's 11. Yeah, I'm just fucking with you. You're all right. Literally. But awesome. because of my last name, I have to go there early because they'll definitely pull me aside. Yeah. Uh, my my aunt uh, used to get pulled aside after uh, 9-11 because uh, she would tan too much. And then she was like, I'm going to stop tanning. And she all of a sudden didn't get checked ever when she went to the airport. Oh, my God. Dude, your aunt? She must have been like A lot of tan. Like, um, yeah, well, like my dad's, my dad's mad, family like, is, uh, they're uh, all Israeli. Oh, oh okay. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's, that's kind of brown. That's womp, brownish. Womp. More brown than yeah. me. <laughs> wow. The, yeah. The Jews got it really bad after 9 yeah. <laughs> 11. <laughs> yeah, guys. They suffered the most. Well, you know, like some guy that works at TSA is not going to like read the last name and be like, oh, Steinberg. Okay. Like, <laughs> no, they they just see the dark skin and then they go, oh, you're a <gasps> random check. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Anyways, yeah, let's end it. Uh, right. By the way, when you were talking about how bad it was editing before, could you like kind of not say stuff like that? Because this is going to be sent off to the editor, and I don't want him. Editor, to... ask for a raise right now. You deserve more. <laughs> cut it, cut it.